Is it? Something like looking here. Is it my fan? Yeah, it's probably my electric fan, but I hope it's not really disturbing. It's kinda, kinda disturbing. It's probably it's reflecting back. But again, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening, and welcome back to Boss Matt World. So we have a recession here of SnowRunner. So good thing I have unmuted my mic because I always forget to unmute my mic. So I'd like to greet everyone. Um, a good day. Welcome to the stream. So currently uh, we are doing uh, White Mountain River. Um, hold on. Let me double check. Are, we're doing Mountain River, right? Yes, we're doing Mountain River. So um, in, in Alaska, Michigan, I'm 100% complete. All contracts, all contests, all tasks are done. Same thing with Taimir. We're just waiting for the release of the fort area and we will go back to Taimir. But as of the moment, I'm I'm heading to Mountain River before we proceed to White Valley. So let's check what do we have to do in Mountain River. So I think in Mountain River we are sending Asov. Uh, do we? No. Uh, hold on. Let me double check. Okay. So we will just hop in first with Asov. So again, guys, I'm, I'm offering here on the pinned comments uh, because as of the moment, I've checked Facebook for for any um, support to other players not like just um you know that uh let's say you're a console or, or you're a pc player that uh you can play with with other players in game but as of the moment i don't see anything or anyone uh having that kind of uh, option that you can do so i'm offering my discord irregardless if you're pc xbox or ps4 so what is the uh the discord all about you join the community um you can ask for we have a couple of people already i think around 10 or more than 10 so they are on different platforms ps4 xbox and pc and if you need someone to help you with with your mission you can use my discord because as of the moment the the game itself is not yet um very friendly to go off because we have no chat or no not even a, a voice communication in game so you can use my discord for you to talk to whoever you're going to play with so that there will be no problem all right so now let's hop into and again everyone i hope that you're having a good day i am excited today for this session i wish everything okay with, with wherever you are right now and god bless everyone so let's go ahead and check what is our next next task um we have here um uh, let me check bricks so we can do this we can pick up the bricks and deliver it to the warehouse which is just this one we can do this one okay so if that's the case, then we can go ahead and use as of here as our main truck to, to do this operation. So before we start the engine, do I need to take it now? We, we, all we need to do is just go down here. Okay, so go back here. Huh? Why are you not working? There you go. And then go here. Go down here. Then pick this one up first. And then this one second. And then go up. And then deliver the two and then go back down again to pick up the third one and then go back there again all right there you go so we are doing this um appropriately or you know the way it should be done all right guys if you have any questions anything at all before we start the game please drop down those questions on the drum uh comment section i want to make a big shout out first to harj caldeo uh, Colum Wawel, there you go. How are you doing, my friend? Commander Ogosh Gaming, boss Matt in the house, guys. Please check out uh, Commander Ogosh Gaming's page. He is also streaming the uh, this game. Uh, it's already on on the link description. It's on the live uh, page when you when you click the the live stream. So please, guys, check out his page. He's one amazing guy. He is really a funny streamer. Please, guys, share the love and support. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. We will start now okay so um actually i just made a couple of uh we call this a couple of changes to to uh to that game um because before my steering wheel was not, not actually going back to the center there you go so it's now going back to the center so guys if you are using a logitech g29 and you are having technical difficulties please please message me either in discord or in my page I'll be happy to help you out. I already assisted two people and I was happy that I was I was able to help them. And in terms of graphics, I mean, I'm not so sure if we have the same GPU, but here's my suggestion what you can do because currently I'm using a 1080. 
So this is my technically my 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 uh, uh, setting. So in terms of ver vertical sync, my refresh rate of of my computer is I think if I'm not mistaken, it's um. 144 i think but if you activate this and then you have a powerful gpu you're limiting the fresh rate so i would suggest you turn it off and this one it's up to you if you want to use taa or msaa so i'm using the maximum one right fxaa you have to turn it on because it will make the smooth edges on the entire image sharpening uh yes as well film grain i don't like film grain it's like uh, an old field school view so it's up to you if you want to turn it on or not the first ca person camera fob and the third person camera fob i suggest you max it out all right legacy camera if you're used to legacy camera on the on the probably on mud runner you can activate this one now on here if you can set everything on maximum activate everything that will make a big difference in your game even though i have everything on ultra everything on maximum i'm having a 72 fps which i think you cannot see so if i move this one here Oh, it's not showing because it's under uh, NVIDIA. But again, so far, I I'm playing around uh, 60 to 75, something like that. All right. So let's go ahead and start the task. Uh, enough with the chit chat. <laughs> hey, what's up? Column Wow. Well, there you go. I hope I pronounced your last name correctly. I hope everything's okay to you, my friend. Same thing, Commander. Oh, gosh. He's a funny guy. Please check out his gaming page as well. He's young, he's new, and he needs all the love and support and guys seriously you will not regret checking out his page he is one amazing streamer all right shout out as well to scoops gaming can call the one smitty gaming and of course my buddy atrax gaming who also helps me a lot if i'm playing this game all right so we are using here the as of 73210 which is my favorite truck of all the trucks in this game he is one amazing beast beast best whatever i'm sorry because my, my my english is just my second language so bear with my english pronunciation all right do you like pineapple <laughs> that's a good question guys pineapple is one of the products or technically the natural fruit that commander oh gosh is also recommending for everyone it's actually uh one good thing about him you know he tries to give you not only just a, a funny thing but he also trying to um, educate you why pineapple is good yes i am i am i am uh in love with pineapple commander i actually check out this um commander search for amazing aloha jollibee all right check that out um that burger do have a pineapple on it and it's freaking my favorite burger in the whole wide world i'm gonna i'm gonna comment it down just for you to know amazing aloha jollibee check out that burger it's actually it has a pineapple on it and that is my favorite burger to eat nothing else all right so we are gonna pick up this uh brick which is in the middle of the they call this a stream probably yes it is a stream you said it right <laughs> thank you my friend callum wawel all right great so we will try our best to retrieve this uh load um i think not enough i think we have to move forward a little all right guys you might be wondering how come this guy do have a steering wheel and he is not on first person the reason is because i want you to enjoy the view this lovely graphics that we have right now if i'm gonna be on first person look at that it's not really uh, a good thing to watch for your end for me actually i prefer first person but what matters most to me is you guys so that's why i'm on third person view all right, so let's try to pick up this load using our truck here. And we are just going to maneuver a little more because I'm trying to make it realistic, guys. I'm trying to take my time here in Alaska because, because this is the last map that I have to complete. There you go. So let's go ahead and activate the anchor. Um, there's an animation actually for that. I will let you see. There you go. So it's technically an additional support just in case you're trying to lift something heavy. All right. So we will activate the anchor. I'm going to switch on this mode. All right, there you go. So we will pick it up. I'm trying to make it more realistic here. So I need to take my time to do this. There you go. Actually, I can do a lot of things way much easier or quicker. But, you know, I'm, 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 I'm like, I, like I mentioned, I'm trying to make it 
realistic, all right? <laughs> so I'm rotating the the, 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 the the cargo the way it's supposed to be. There you go. And then we will move it a little more to the edge. And then move a little to the right. Rotate it a little more to the left. And I think that will be okay. So we will lower the cargo slowly and surely because these are bricks. So if you slam it very fast, there is a possibility that it will crack. And we don't want that to happen because again, we are in test to pick up this cargo so that there you go. Now we are off to pick up the second brick. All right. Take, take your time and enjoy it. No point in rushing. I agree. Looks awesome, right? Do you agree, uh, Commander Ogosh, with the amazing Aloha of Jalabi? It doesn't only look awesome. It has bacon on it. It has burger. It has milk, cheese, and everything. And the bread, it actually, I don't know, I don't know what's with the bread as well. And also the pot, the, the patty on, on that amazing Aloha uh, burger, it's actually really delicious. So it's my favorite burger probably in the world as of the moment. But it is amazing because not only of, of the ingredients in it, um, there's also a couple of um, vegetables in it. But the pineapple addition to that burger is really, I think, what make that burger stands out um, I think the burger is cost 200 pesos so that's around four hundred four dollars the four dollars it includes uh, a couple of fries and uh, a medium drink or a standard drink a regular drink whatever you call it so it is it is it, it is uh, okay it's not it's not expensive it's not cheap but it's okay Got something like that so we will pick up the second uh, brick here then after this, we will deliver this on the top. There you go. Activating the crane. Picking up the cargo. And guys, FYI, if you're using a D-pad and a steering wheel as well, you can use all three at the same time. What I mean by three, you can use the keyboard, you can use the mouse, you can use the steering wheel, you can use the D-pad. Everything works the same time. So one of my friends, which is Magnus from Sweden, I assisted him to make his steering wheel work out. And we found out that he can still use his controller. So he's using his controller for crane operation. But I'm used to use the, the keyboard for the crane operation, so I'm okay with that. So just an FYI, just in case you have all of, the, all of those equipments in your arsenal. Okay, so here we go. We got a cargo. I'm gonna lift it up. Slowly, again, FYI, that's a brick. So you have to handle the cargo very carefully or else we might crack something in it. I hope I hope they will introduce a kind of of aspect here or physics in the game. That if you miss you know, you don't handle the cargo properly or appropriately, it will get damaged and you know you will not be able to use it. So I hope that they will in I will include that on my next suggestion because I have talked to the devs and I have provided them nine suggestions about the game, how to make it more realistic and better. So I will probably gonna suggest this as well that the cargo should be handled properly or else it will get damaged if you mishandle the cargo. Like for example in this rate you drop it, it will have a crack and so on and so forth. There you go. Good touchdown. Bingo. I'm gonna restore the crane and then Okay guys. Okay, I wanna show you something. There's a bug in this game. If I unpack my cargo, definitely this one here will probably gonna go down. Okay, so before you unpack your first cargo, because we need to pack the second cargo, you have to move your car first. Okay, you have to move your vehicle. Okay, that's enough. Just a little move. And then you do it so that it will not bug. Because if I didn't move my truck and I unpack the cargo, definitely this one here, right? This one here. If I unpack it, it will go down on the bottom of my truck. And it might be a problem. But now it will not happen. I hope so. There you go. And then I'll pack it. Both of them will get packed. So remember my tip. If you are hauling two items, you pack the first one and you move to the next one in a different location. Once you place the second cargo on your bag, don't unpack the first one. You have to move your truck even just a little, even just an inch. Then stop just to let your truck, uh, you're informing your truck, hey, FYI, you have another cargo that is on your back so that it will not glitch. That is one of the workarounds as of the moment in terms of how will you manage the cargo in game because currently it's still a little buggy but yeah, you, you can find some workaround. 
I was supposed to create uh, my first YouTube video yesterday, but I'm having problem with the, 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 the apps that I have. But watch out for my first YouTube video. I'm gonna provide some um, workarounds for the bugs in game, and then I'm, I'm gonna give as well a little tip. But the tip is not about um, they call this. It will not spoil any gameplay. It's just a tip that you have to watch. Be mindful of like activating your all wheel drive. If it's switchable, your differential lock, and so on and so forth. You have to be mindful with your with your fuel. Those kind of tips. But it will not spoil the game. All right. So I will I will inform everyone once I have my first YouTube video that will be available in YouTube. And then as well, for those people who are pretty new to the game, we have something here we call mods, all right? So the mods that you can actually get in mods IO something, I, I'm not so sure if there's any other uh, um, uh, website that offer mods. It's okay to get mods, no problem with it, no problem. It will not technically gonna ruin your game if if you get the mods that is not making your engine making your fuel making your winches more stronger or uh, consume less that those kind of mods will gonna ruin the game because if everything will gonna be easy all right so the only mods that i get are cosmetics cosmetic mods like this one here this truck i have some cosmetics on it my asset truck and I have options as well to enhance the engine. It's provided together with the mod, but I don't use those powerful engines because again, it will ruin my gameplay. So just an FYI, if you, if in, let's say next week once the patch came out and it will be available as well to the console people, if you don't want, if you want to enjoy the game, don't get mods that will enhance or give more power to your engine and to your winches, or you will have more fuel for your fuel line. So just an FYI, but you can get the mods that are cosmetic mods just to make your truck more beautiful, alright? So here we go, we are picking up the third brick uh, for this task that we are doing. So it's getting dark soon. And again guys, this is my favorite truck out of anyone out there. Not, not only it looks beautiful, in terms of performance, he is very good. His uh, power weight ratio all-wheel drive differential lock 350 liters of fuel crane bed frame and you can still attach a trailer to it all right so we will position our truck backwards yes yeah yeah, yeah go ahead you say good evening to my viewers say good evening <laughs> all right it's uh, it's actually the, the the niece of my wife and then again guys, if you have any questions, please guys, please drop those questions down. So you see here, it didn't uh, actually uh, place properly. So we have to move our truck a little bit forward so that it can, we can activate that one properly. Okay, I think that will be enough. Nope, we went back. Okay, that's enough. Commander August, awesome. I did, I do this as well. Glad you helped Magnus. You're welcome, my friend. You're welcome. It's actually, it feels good, you know, when when you help someone, uh, especially uh, a fellow gamer, it, it feels good. And guys, again, please come into my Discord. Uh, I'm not charging anything. Everything is free. You know, it's just to help the community as well. Okay, so we are trying to lift the last brick that we have to get. And look at look at this. Look at this, guys. Look at the graphics. It is so amazing, right? And by the way, guys, I just found out that this um, thing we call chain tires that we have in our like this one guys if you see my my tires it has chains right like like here right here I talked to Magnus he's actually from Sweden so because I ha we have no snow in my country in the Philippines so he told me um, because I asked him because he drives a truck so I asked him so meaning to say that because technically what the environment that we have right now here is I think what we what they have in Sweden so I asked him, so you're using chain tires? And he said, yes, only if I'm stuck. Okay, so how come in, in SnowRunner, the, the chain tires are like available to use like all, all the way from one trip to, I mean from point A to point B? And he said, well, if you're going to a certain speed, that will destroy your tires. So you're telling me that the, 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 the we call this a chain tires sh should be only used um, if you're only stuck. So what I have in mind, which I will also suggest to to the devs of this game, that the 
the chain tires should be not always activated in, 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 in your movement. What I mean to say, it's like all-wheel drive and differential that is switchable. So you only activate the chain tires if you are on low gear. That is the only time that you can activate the chain tires. And they should introduce a new type of tires, which is the, what they call winter tires. So winter tires, I, I wish that this will work uh, more better on snowy terrain because the chain tires is not technically designed for snow uh, terrain as of now the snow is part of mud okay so I will I will suggest this as well to, oh, no 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 Q on the Jesse Ortiz no it's not okay okay guys so we have to send well, I can send my ass off here to pull him out, but it's not technically gonna be. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's not gonna be realistic. So I will send my heavy crane operator, which we have to get from the Northport. Okay, so we have to get him. I have a lot of trucks here because I'm trying to do a little, uh, a little. Uh, we call this a little car show. To. Tu es mi solamente esposo. Tu es mi amor. Uh, okay, so who is that? Jesse Ortiz. I, I do apologize, Jerry Ortiz. I know that I'm Span. I'm ha half Spanish. My last name is Spanish, but no habla español. <laughs> I can only speak English. So we're gonna send this guy to assist because that truck fell. So we will send him to help out as well. Okay. So before we proceed, uh, let me give you a little tour about my fleet here. So on that side there, we have the Asov 4 Antarctic. I don't use him because he's overpowered. It's just for display. And we have your four, tr four, four trucks, which is just for the feel of logistics company. You know? What I, you know what I mean? So these are my workhorse, the Caterpillar, the Voron, and the Fleet Star 5070. So they are my main workhorse together with Asov. Asov is actually parked here. And right here is my P12, the maintenance truck, Dan, the heavy crane, Navistar, which is my uh, repair guy. I forgot the freight line or something. This is my fuel truck. And my international load star here is actually my go-to rescue truck. And I always attach a scout fuel trailer with him just in case um, we need to send some help. And here on the left side, which is my army truck, Tatarin, uh, the scout is a park here, but he is on a mission. That's why he's not here. And right here, this is where As of Six Park, together with Derry, they are my low subtle truck. Cat is designed for hauling containers. And this two here, the Color Brothers, are for my high saddle. And we have here a couple more vehicles. Technically, they're just there for display. We have here a Harley truck, and we have here a Royal BM with a 55 inch wheel. But again, they are just there for display. Just for the feel of you have a fleet company or a, a trucking company. In this game so that is all the use of this truck but a majority of them I don't use it just for display all right so we are sending Dan to rescue as of seven which is he is truck in a river so we will use the crane to help him get back on his feet hey Phil Morris how are you doing brother I'm okay I hope everything's okay commander didn't know you were in here no problem he is my friend amigo Oh, cause you have accent, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Jesse. I'm from the Philippines, by the way. So I'm a Filipino. English is my second language. So um, please excuse my English. It's not perfect, but I'm trying my best for you to understand. Hey, Phil. Welcome back. How are you doing, my friend? Hey, guys. By the way, check out um, his video. It's already in Boss Matt World Group and also in YouTube. He made a video about the hardest contract in Michigan which is hauling the big oil rig from Drummond Island going back to Smithville it was an amazing video I mean he had a couple of challenges and problems along the way going back to Smithville but again it was one such amazing video so thank you Phil for creating that video I did have fun watching it um, you have a couple of problems going downhill and a couple of pre stamp before you enter the river and after you enter the river but it was a great all of that big oil rig we are all fine thank you that's great that's great Phil so again we are sending Dan to help out our ass of seven which is he fell 
Uh, it, okay, by the way, guys, uh, as of 7, 3, 2, 1, 0, he doesn't fail that much or he doesn't roll or flip a lot because he's kind of low. But, you know, I mean, probably 2 out of 10, um, um, when he tried to do something, that's the only time that he, he rolls, 2 out of 10. But it's rare for him to, to roll, so we will send this guy, which is, I think, his younger brother, Dan, which is kind of looks similar to as of 73210 so he will help out uh with, with this guy got caught on trees as i turned to the river exactly i i saw that one i saw that one and after you you pass the river um with the rocks on it i saw a couple of tree stumps as well but everything was okay all right cool so let's send this guys because i need m more trucks in in wide valley is it white valley no 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 mountain river i need more trucks in mountain river because again there is no garage in mountain river so it's good as well that we send them not only for this operation but just in case there will be massive um heavy lifting that we have to do in any of the contracts because basis as far as i know there are a couple of heavy pipes oops oops wrong way wrong way that's going to white valley it's not yet open it's not yet open we have to go here <laughs> fyi Yes, you can go round to left at trees and there's a road. Actually, yeah, actually, Phil, that is one of the reasons I really want to restart my game again because I want to, to try what you did, especially with that last contract in in Michigan from Drummond Port, back, going back to Smithville. But FYI to all SnowRunner players, currently in the public test server, uh, there's an option for you to reset your game, but you will not delete the, your main file because as of the moment, if you create a new game whatever you have right now everything will be deleted because you're creating a new game so this uh, kind of new features that they're trying to uh, introduce to the game from the public test server is that we will have multiple slots to save any progress that we have in game so that would be a great addition just in case let's say you want your wife or your kid wants to play as well but you cannot let um, let them play because it might ruin your, your file and everything so in that way they can have their own profile when they try to play the game because my son wants to play it again, and I told him, not as the moment, my son, because there's no option. So once it's available, you can try to play the game. Because he is also driving American Truck Simulator. He's only six years old, but he loves driving. So yeah, he will try this uh, game as well once it's available. So currently, um, I'm actually on Mountain River after Mountain River. I'm going to White Valley, and then there's one Pedro something. That will be the last area that I have to compete and I will be done in SnowRunner and again I'm taking my time in, in Alaska because I don't want to end the game because we are still waiting for the new um, additional area for Timir Russia which is I think will offer or introduce snowy terrain in Russia and then on that that will be the patch one so there are four patches for the whole season of this game Patch 2 will introduce a new map or area which is we call Canadian Canadian map so it will available in patch 2 Patch 3 will be Wisconsin USA Patch 4 there is no um, info yet on what will it be but they said it's a big surprise so most likely my feel is that they will uh, add the terrain and location of the existing mud runner place I think that's what they're gonna do uh, but uh, we don't know we don't know right so let's go ahead and proceed here to help out this poor guy who just fell on his <laughs> back so that he can go back working. So good thing that we have here this truck. Uh, he will help out the operation because I think there will be a lot of flips and rolls that will happen to us in this map. Yes, you can go around. Okay. Hold him for a second. Okay, this might take some time. We have to be careful. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make it real. I can go fast, go down without a problem, but I'm trying the game more roleplay style or realistic. So I think in real life, you don't just go fast with, with this kind of road. You take it seriously and slowly. So we don't want the, 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 the anchors as well to hit a certain part. Okay, there you go. So we have to be um, on the side, okay? There you go. I, can, I think this will be okay because we need space as well for the anchor. Okay, so we're gonna activate the crane. So we will try to pull him up this way. Okay. 
Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Look what happened. You see that? You see what happened there? We will try again. Nope, 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 it's not gonna work. I think we need to be on this side here, on this side. I think we have to go that side. So let's remove the anchor. Oops, 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 oops. Bad, bad. You have to reset your crane first. Okay, there you go. Let's go on the other side of the road. And then we will try in that place. Because we are technically on high ground. So that is going to be danger for the, this truck to operate the crane. Or, if, or else he might flip as well. Okay. So we will just reposition him properly. Come on, you can do this. Okay. A little bit more. Okay, that will be enough. So, here we go. There you go. A little bit. That's enough. Okay, so let's activate the anchor. Okay. There you go. The sun there is now actually kind of okay. Okay, that will be enough, I think. There you go, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, buddy. Come on, there you go. There you go. Uh-huh, it's not enough. A little bit more, a little bit more. It's not working. Damn it. Okay, so on this one, we can actually use the winch instead of the, of the crane because we already tilted him on its side. So I think that will be enough. We will use now the winch together with the engine power for him to get up. There you go. There you go. Okay. So now he can go and probably just park somewhere there. And we will I will call you if I need some assistance in the future. Alright? Thank you then for your help. So that is our rescue heavy crane guy and then also he is mainly I use him for, for heavy lifting of heavy equipment so you just stay there and enjoy the view enjoy the breeze <laughs> I'm gonna switch back to ASAP 7 and again we will pick up let's pick up the cargo and I hope that there will be no bugs when we try to place him back the bed up. Mm -hmm. watch out watch out I said watch out so let's rotate hey Wong you what's up brother welcome back to boss Matt Road how are you doing what's up Matt how are you man good good my friend Will Smitherman guys please check out the page of Will Smitherman as well it's the one Speedy Gaming. It's also streaming SnowRunner, Farming Simulator, and American Truck Simulator. So please check out his page and share the love and support as well. Hey Phil, I got uh, two guys actually yesterday. We made uh, the, the steering wheel activated or working fine. So I hope that you already managed your steering wheel as well. But if you're still having problems in terms of making it work, Probably let's try to talk sometimes in Discord and let me assist you and check your firmware because I'm not so familiar with Trustmaster software or application, but I think we can find a way on how to fix it. So I hope that you, hey Wang, you also please check my page soon. Yes, definitely, Baste. Please inform me, Baste, once you have your page um, app inactive. Okay. <clears throat> so we are delivering the last brick for this one. So it took some time because we flip and then we have to send another truck to rescue. I tried again on PS4, it's still not working. Oh crap. Because uh, Phil, there's a lot of workarounds that you have to, to what you call this, to configure in, in the software. Even in PC, you know, it, it, it will take some time before you can work it out. So since the limited, probably uh, a configuration or option that you have in console, so it's really going to be up to the developers. To make sure that it will work to the console people all right voila so let's switch off the engine and check what will be the next task environment 
something. So what do we need to do here? Curbside trailer. So we have to check this one. What's the, the other one? Working stiff. Uh huh. Caterpillar delivered to lumber mill. Where is it? Okay. We can do this one later. But for the time being, let's check this trailer. Um, it's as of on something. Let, let me check. Let me double check. So it's not on anything. So we will send him to pick up this truck here. Um. Okay, you have to go out, go here, this way, then actually that way, and then go here and pick up the trailer here, and then you have to deliver it all the way down here. So for that, we will go back on the same route, a little bit switch here, this way, then going this way, I have to adjust a couple of, of waypoints for me not to loss get lost on where should I go and then we have to deliver it here so probably the best one to go there would be because there's a couple of trees here so this way here and then go that way all right cool let's do this so we are using as of six there's four five six seven four as of in this game so this guy is the as of six he is one of my favorite trucks he is my low subtle truck to be exact all right so since we are um, picking up a trailer I think this is a, a job for him okay so he is um, um, I have some mods for him because on the default as of there's no fog lumps on the top so I downloaded some mod just for cosmetic purposes not for power purposes so this one is one amazing beast the way he looks right now he is buff the mod is called as of 6 buff edition so that buff edition mod uh, also introduced three additional powerful engine but I did never use them because again I don't want to ruin the default options that I have in terms of power uh, engine um, transmission and everything I don't I don't use any mods for that I just use a default one all right so let's go ahead and pick up this trailer which is requested by a research developer or something environmentalist to be exact so here we go this is muddy but this is okay yep he is okay so again I will definitely gonna uh, uh, suggest to the developers that the chain tires should be similar to differential lock or all-wheel drive that you will activate it on low gear because again if you use uh, ch chain tires on really fast if you're fast on the highway it will tear up or it will destroy your tires and they should introduce a new type of tires which is um, winter tires which is best for snow so that is this, the, the tires that we should use in this terrain so you know if we can make something or if we can suggest to the developers how to make the game more realistic more um, you know um, additional content or options that we can have that will be really great because again guys I am freaking in love with this game 3 million cent stars by Bastet. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bastet. That will be going to, to me 1.5. Um, half of it will go back to Facebook. That's uh, as far as I know, that's how it works if you send stars. Guys, stars is okay. You know, If you want to send stars, that's okay. But it's not a requirement, you know. I will be grateful and thankful if you will send stars. But again, it's not a requirement. Just an FYI. So this is a trailer that we have to tow and bring it back to the research zone. All right. Soon, guys, I will also gonna check out uh, Patreon. Actually, I have this idea from Scoobs, and I will probably gonna try it out as well. But again, it's not a requirement. It's just if you want to support them, yeah, thankful. <laughs> <coughs> mhm, mm mhm. Mm That's too so much. Attach the trailer. There you go. So now we are going head back to deliver this on the requested drop zone all right it's kind of hot right now it's already 10 30 p.m but it's still hot the, the thing in my country it's not only hot it's also humid so that is the thing here because we are a tropical country technically we only have two seasons which is summer like almost eight months of the year and then probably four months or three months only the rainy season but if it rains here seriously guys it is one strong rain small rain will make our streets flooded already so imagine what will happen to areas like this because there's a lot of mudslide and so on and so forth 
um, we call this the, like the tsunami thingy. Uh, I forgot, I forget how they call it. Supremo done to send the refuge. Supremo done to send the refuge in Discord. Okay, we have to turn. What do you mean? What do you mean by by that, Wang Yu? Supremo is done to send the refuge in Discord. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not following. Okay, so we are going to the research zone to deliver this one, and then after that, we will check what will be the next task that we have to do. Thank you, Wang Yu, for the share. I appreciate it, brother. Hey, guys, for those viewers, if you're not yet a follower. Please don't forget to click the follow button uh, or just simply type exclamation notify. Kindly like the stream as well and or also share. It will be a big help for me as a streamer. It's a small gesture that you will do but for me it's really massive or it's really big. So I would like to thank you in advance for those um, gestures that you're doing. So we are having a hard time passing this area because again it's muddy. But yeah he can, he can move. As of 6 is actually he is a slow truck. But he have a lot of power in those uh, engines that he have. Look at that that engine bay. It's really big, right? Look at that. So yeah, we're doing slowly, but I think we can. We will. We are fine. We are stuck now. Yes, we are stuck. So if you are stuck, then just use your wrench. Simple as that. It will help out, get you out of tight situation. I'm checking the tires to make sure that it's still working. So far, so good. Yep. Very good. <clears throat> nice. Okay, cool. Here we go. We have to be careful because this truck, yeah, he's a little bit tall and there's a lot of tendency for him to flip or to roll. So that is why I am careful using him especially on going left or going right if it's like a tilted terrain uh, there's a, a big potential for this truck to roll on his side I mean the discard of Supremo server on 5M okay gotcha um, let me check here I'll send it to you later uh, Wang Yu okay here we go Shout out to 24,000 viewers. <laughs> Actually, guys, even though I only have one viewer, I am happy and uh, uh, to continue my stream. But if I have zero viewers, it, it kind of makes me sleepy. So, again, thank you everyone for watching the stream. I appreciate your you're here watching the stream, and I hope that you're having a great time. <clears throat> again, guys, if you have any questions, anything at all, whether it be the SnowRunner game or anything, especially for assistance to how to activate your steering wheel I'll be happy to help you out all right so watch out watch out for those trees watch out so we are taking our time nice and easy okay all right good now we have to make a left here we have to provide a little clearance because we're hauling a trailer that it will not hit the tree actually guys branches as well will make your truck stop so you have to be careful on it and like this one here the train that we're doing that's a problem with snow you are not sure how deep it is until you try it out and if it's gonna really be deep then you are in big trouble especially if there's no trees around that you can uh, I call this you can what do you call this switch on all right so we are done and have to switch the engine what is the next thing that we have to do? Working stiff. Nah, this one is kind of far. So let's check the contracts. Do we have anything on here? So we have here. We have to get consumable fuel. Okay, wooden planks. Okay, so so this one is doable. So we need to attach um, a trailer. Where's the trailer state store? There's the trailer store. So we have to go there first. So we have to back out and then buy a trailer. Then after that we will go here to refuel. And then where's the consumable again? So here wooden planks will be there. Fuel would be here. So we will get two fuels, two consumables, deliver it, go out and pick up uh, the wood planks, go back to pick up the fuel and deliver it again. So we will have two trips for this one, okay? 
So let's just do this nice and easy. No problem. There you go. So actually we don't need to refuel anymore because there will be another, another fuel station that we can refuel our stuff. Then pass here. I always put my waypoint ahead of the intersection. So for example, this is an intersection. I will put my waypoint where I should go so that it will not confuse me. Should I go straight, left, or right, or whatsoever? So probably that would be a one good tip for you to consider as well. Okay, so after that we will go back. Going back on this road. And then... Okay, we go straight here to pick up the wooden planks. Okay, so I hope that there is no... Um, we call this there's no um, road blocks in this place because I think it's perfectly passable. Now we will have to go back again. All the way here. Another one here. Another one here. Going back here. Here. Past the road. Because we have to pick up two more fuel, right? And then refuel. Go our way out here. Go back here. Um, let's add a little point. Sorry guys, I have to do this so that we don't stop. We just move and complete this one, alright? That will be it. So, a lot of movement that we have to do, but that will be the things that we have to do, okay? So let's go ahead and start the engine. It's, go it's going dark already. So I hope that we will not have any problems on our journey, like hitting something like this truck here, hitting the tree. So see, so see this guys, you're not technically hitting the tree, but a part of your truck, which is I think the muffler, is hitting it. So it's gonna stop your truck. So that is what I'm telling you, that every part of your truck really is part of the physics of this game. So you have to be careful because sometimes, especially if you are moving fast and your one, one part of your truck hits something, it will gonna be a disaster for your for your for for everything, especially if you're hauling something on your back. It will it might flip your truck, it might make your truck fly, uh, whatever. So you have to be careful. That's why actually this game is not about speed. It's about um, efficiency. It's about accuracy. It's about being safe on on when you do stuff. Because if you are reckless. Then it will gonna take longer for you to complete that task because you have to send another truck, you have to do this and so on and so forth. So you know, just try to make your movement really careful. Phil Morris, hi boss from Phil's wife. Hey, hi, hi, madam. Good evening to you. Thank you for dropping by and saying hi. It's nice to to see someone, um, a wife of our father, is saying hi. Hope everything's okay. I hope Phil is good boy. <laughs> I hope uh, Phil is uh, listening to your advices and orders because again, on my end, my wife is the commander-in-chief. But I think he is uh, really a good uh, listener. And I think that he is also not a, just a good husband and he is also a great father. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Phil's wife, for saying hi and dropping by in the stream. I hope that I will be able to meet every one of you in the near future. If there will be a chance for me to go because I have a couple of relatives in, in London um, I have two aunties and then one six cousins two of them are really British and the other four are Filipinos as well those four are literally nurses in, in London and my uh, two of my aunties they are um, I, I think one of them are working in a duty-free store as the manager and the other one owns an antique shop so there you go so if I will have a chance to visit London I will definitely gonna drop by and say hi not only to Phil but if he will allow me to meet his family I'll be happy to do that as well he's a good man train him <laughs> there you go that's a good one so Phil make sure that you hey guys I mean this is my philosophy happy wife happy life you have to remember that especially for those single people if you are if you want to get married make sure that your wife is also always happy because if your wife is happy you will have a happy life not unhappy a happy life there you go sorry because I, I, I swirl or sometimes eat my words do you agree with me um, mrs. Morris that a happy wife is a happy life <laughs> all right so we will pick up here 
consumables. Yes, we will pick up two consumables. And then after that, we will go ahead and pick up two fuel, then deliver it to the truck stop, and then get another fuel and wooden planks. And that will be the, for us to end. Service? No, no, no. Not service. No, no, no. Not service. Hold on. Hold on. I remove cargo. I don't need the service thing. I need consumables. One, two. There you go. Now let's go ahead and maneuver our truck to get out of this factory and pick up the fuel. And we will deliver that to the truck stop. Alright? He says that too. Well, I agree, you know, guys. That 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 kind of, um, um, how do you call this? I would say saying. Is actually I think it's in the Bible so for me whatever is in the Bible I believe that I'm a religious guy so but but for me even though if it's not in the Bible I agree to that line you know a happy wife is a happy life seriously guys trust me on it because when I was uh, when I got married uh, um, six no not six years ago 19 five years ago um, on the start, you know, it, it was a, a bumpy ride with my wife, but, you know, I tried to realize because every time that I did something for her and she was happy, it's like my day is completely the best. So, I, I tried this approach, how can I make my wife, you know, not, not, not on a daily basis, but if I can do it on a daily basis, that would be great. But as much as possible, if I can make her happy, I will have the best day, every day of my life as long as she's happy. So try to have that kind of mindset because technically guys for me I think uh, the way uh, how we are in this world is because man is just to support a woman to make her happy vice versa women is also designed to support and make this partner happy so it's a it's a relationship it's not like um, um, you're completely two, indi two individuals on a separate life once you get married it's like you are becoming one all right so i'm kind of deep on that one but i hope you don't mind me giving a couple of uh, wisdom words or, or advice in terms of how should you do it if you are married okay so we are we're gonna refuel first just to make sure and then we will pick up here two fuels yes and then we will deliver this to the truck stop and then proceed with the rest he says that too all right cool let's go Fuel, right? Do you have any other consumables here or cargo? No, just only fuel. So we will get. Actually, we can. Nah, we can pick up three if we want to. Yeah, it's okay. But we still have to go back here to pick up another one. That would that will be okay. No problem. I'm back. I totally agree with you. My wife is my life. I'd be nowhere without her. Same thing with me, my friend. Um, for me, my priority is this. Of course, number one is God above anything else. Secondly, it's my family, um, my wife and my kids. And thirdly, myself, all right? Thirdly, myself. Um, and probably fourth is my work. And fifth will be uh, my hobby. So that's how I do it. That's how I, I rank the priorities in my life. God, family, myself, and then my work, and then my hobby. And the rest is just a bonus or addition to my life like streaming you know it's it's, it's a, a bonus uh, bonus is a good thing you know like me me meeting Phil Morris Ken Hammond Jr. Wang Yu um, Commander Ogosh Scobbs Cantle a lot of people you know it's it's one of the best thing happened in my life you know to have this online community or online friends which is really a great thing a blessing in my life so deliver this oh no deliver that deliver that huh okay there you go so let's go ahead and Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you, Ken. How are you doing, my friend? How's your um, SnowRunner progress? Everything good? Everything's okay? Watch out, watch out. The trailer might flip. Watch out. So far, so good. Yep, okay. You can do this. All right. Sometimes, guys, you know, it's, it's really hard to maneuver your truck, especially if you have a really long trailer on your back. But, you know, it's manageable, it's doable, it's okay. So we will pick up first um, the wooden planks, then get the fuel. You know what, let's probably get the fuel first. So that when we go back, we don't have to swing by again on the, on the fuel station. So let's pick up the fuel. Okay. 
so let's go that way so that it will be easier for us to go out. Actually, we can go inside as well, like like on this path, but I think this one is more appropriate. So again, guys, you know, I, I have a zero experience of driving truck in real life, what I mean to say. But one thing that you have to bear in mind when you're driving a truck simulator is that you have to provide clearance to what you are trying to do, especially if you're manu maneuvering on a tight spot, because or else it will be a massive disaster for your uh, whatever you're doing right now. My wife said, what are you watching over there? So I told her to say hello, <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. Uh, did she have fun? Well, good thing you know that she dropped by and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that she said hi. Ken Hammond Jr. Haven't had a chance to play much the last couple of days. Why? Probably you're busy with, with uh, real life stuff or work or probably family. Well, that's okay, my man. I think that is more important instead of our games but again um i am enjoying my time you know i have i only slept a while ago for four hours because i have to do my job um well technically nowadays i'm already 30 plus i'm already near 40. um all i need is just four hours actually if i sleep longer than than probably six hours my body aches a lot when i wake up so i only sleep just a couple of hours and i try as well to continue playing my game if i have the chance so sometimes Especially going weekend, I try. I normally uh, am awake for straight, sometimes 36 hours. I'm used to it. I know it might catch up later as I grow older, but still, so far, I can still manage everything that I do. Family, well, yeah, well, no questions about it. It's the it's priority. Family first. Family first before hobby or game. All right. So here we go. We're picking up the last two things, which is the wooden planks. So far, so good. You know, the terrain in, in this place is not really that kind of hard, which is kind of sad because I was expecting like a harder place for me to, to pass by. But so far, you know, majority here are concrete, majority are easy to, 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 to drive by. So, but we'll see. Probably the, the challenging task will happen um, probably somewhere deeper. In this part of the map because after mountain river if i'm not mistaken we are heading to white valley okay so again i'm taking my time here because this is the last area for me to play with and if i end the game then most likely i just need to play with someone who is still doing the game so we need wooden planks too one two what other other stuff do you have here just wooden planks okay so let's get out of here is there any exit point on the back or none I think there is yeah there is so I can maneuver my truck here but I mean I wanna you know they designed it that way so let's use it that way right that is the reason why it's there so let's do it that way so we are heading back heading back to the truck story to end this on top of the world I'm on the top of the world living I'm sorry I'm not a good singer <laughs> um okay Phil Morris, I did a quick scout and got the watchtowers on the first map, Timir. Is there any roadblocks or I can get straight on with my job? I can't remember if there's any roadblocks in Timir. I think there's none. Let me think. Was there any roadblocks? I think none in the first map. Um, I think the first one, was it Quarry? Yeah, Quarry. I don't know. Quarry is the second one. What is the Drownlands? I think there's no roadblocks in, in Drownlands, Timir, Russia. Boss Matt, Dora, Dora, uh, Jehan Lopez. Um, as of the moment, Jehan, I'm still uh, hooked to this game. I actually even have played GTA RP for for when the game was Snowrunner came out. So I haven't tried any game. I, I forgot to play Warzone. I forgot to play Dota. I forgot to play GTA. So. Liam Sharples, how are you, my friend? Welcome back to Squash Mat Real. Good day to you, sir. Good day. So, Phil, I couldn't see any. So, yeah, probably there's none as of the moment in the first area of, of Timir Russia, which is Drownlands. But I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, um, on the second and third map, there is a couple of roadblocks that you have to fix. I'm 100% sure about it. The second area and the third area. There's a lot of roadblocks that you have to fix. Okay? 
Oh. So we are delivering the this back to the truck stop. Like I told you guys, as of six, he is one great truck. He is one amazing truck. But again, the only problem with him, he is freaking slow. He is slow. But you know, I, I prefer the slow truck that can do the job instead of a quick truck that is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> because if you are fast in this game, technically you will end up on the side of the road on your side and you need another truck to help you out just to rescue you so I, I mean, I'm kind of sad because you know it seems like anywhere you go here you're using the main road and it's concrete and it seems like you have no problem so you know, I'm looking for something more challenging and I hope that that is what installed for us for the rest of the contract in this area all right so I'm really afraid and scared to finish the game All right, voila. So switch off the engine. Let's check what's next. What's next? So where is this? Where is it? Where's this? So I need to deliver. Okay. So where are we? We are here. So this one's kind of close. So I need to haul him. So I need to take him to the lumber mill, which is there. Which is, I think, would be easy. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's go. Where are you located? Working stiff. So this is where I activate it. So this is actually the caterpillar. So I will sell the the trailer because we need to haul something. So so that we don't have any problem. And again, I hate you know putting trailers just scattered all over the place. It's kind of ruining the map. Actually, that's I think what I'm gonna do once I'm I'm complete with this one. I'm going back to all of the trailers scattered in the in the in the map, and I'm gonna sell everything, <laughs> just if, to make it clean. All right, there you go. So let's go ahead and proceed to the caterpillar. So go out here, here, all the way here, all the way here, there. Make a right, which is kind of I think a narrow road that we have to pass by, but it's doable. It's okay. There you go. There you go, and there you go. And then on our way back, we have... Do we have to go here? Or we... Ah, nah. I think let's just go straight back to where we came from. Let's not make it complicated. And not make it hard. Or we might lose the truck if... Okay, hold on. Give me a second. I need to do this waypoints because if I don't do this, then I will definitely gonna lose my mind on in terms of direction there you go there you go number meal will be here yeah okay let's go let's do this and guys good evening everyone or good evening in my place it's 11 p.m. but if it's good morning or good afternoon or generally I wish you all having a good day or having a blast um, Phil Morris Thank you. We'll start jobs later. Nice. Or should I do Alaska first? Well, like what I told you, I started with Michigan, and after I'm done with Michigan, I did Timer Russia. And now, because I saved Alaska for last, it's because this is currently the only place in the game that have snow. Um, but in terms of challenge or how difficult the terrain would be, I would say Timer, I, I think, is the hardest one. The hardest one. Especially on the last one in the spinner course, there's a bridge that you cannot fix it. It will be just gonna be there, and it's gonna be a hard thing for you to to pass because you have to pass that that part uh, probably five times for a couple of tasks in contract. So it's up to you, Phil. If you think I'm, um, well, if you're gonna ask me if I'm gonna restart the game, I will have a different approach. I might start in in Alaska. I will do Michigan, and I will do last time here because I'm gonna do it on a different approach. So I would probably suggest to you, Phil, complete Michigan first. If you are complete with Michigan, probably do Alaska second. And save Chinese Russia the last. Because again, um, there's uh, some of the parts of Chinese Russia is really hard to pass. And not only to mention that the fourth area is coming out soon, so that at least, you know, uh, probably by the time that you will be done in similar course, you are ready to hop into the new area so that is just my suggestion to you 
so that you know you 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 have this sense for Michigan it's it's Michigan is hard as well all right so for so far with Alaska I'm probably because of the arsenal that I have the fleet that I have I have all of the trucks that I need so probably it's kind of easy for me to manage but in terms of difficulty I would say because when we started in Michigan you have limited trucks limited drunk limited money so it's really the hardest part probably of the game um, here in Alaska I'm not really having a hard time because probably the trucks that I have are a lot uh, but even though I have a lot of trucks when I went to Taimir Russia it is still hard to do the Taimir Russia I tell you even though you have all of the trucks all of the upgrades all of everything it's hard to finish Taimir so if you want difficulty in terms of how it goes up um, go Michigan and then Alaska and then lastly Taimir Oh, Alaska it is. Nice. Um, I, I do need some new trucks. Got some money saved up for now. Um, probably if you're gonna ask me, um, Phil, if you ha what is this? What is this? Do, we ha do I have to activate this? What is this one? No, I don't have to activate it. If you're gonna ask me, Phil, since you have limited money and you want some really reliable truck that have all the options in terms of back frame I would suggest to you if you can buy this big boy here, this badass boy, R sub 6. He is slow, but be mindful. He is slow and his turning radius is kind of crap, but he can do most of the job done. He have low saddle, he have high saddle, he have bed frame, he have crane. Everything you need from him is already in there. So ch check him, him out if it's already available for purchase. All right. So we will deliver this guy to the lumber mill. So let's activate this. Start tracking. So Caterpillar 745C, which is he is designed to be either a fuel tanker or he can be your your truck to haul containers. Because right this one here, oh no, it's not yet. There's no equipment yet on the back. But you can actually put uh, something on the back that he can um, you can place uh, a container on his back. So I'm gonna use him for that specific. Use. All right, so let's go for this. I'm gonna tow him. I'm gonna use my winch, and I hope as well because as of the moment, there's actually a trailer that is designed to put trucks on top of it. But since of the bug in the game, you cannot use that yet. But if you're gonna if you're gonna ask me, that's how supposed to be realistically how you should done it. You know, if I'm gonna hold this truck, I should have bring. A heavy trailer on my back but again since there's a bug I cannot use it so I'm gonna use the winch for the time being but I hope that they will be able to fix that so that I can do it appropriately in a realistic way in a more roleplay style all right so let's go ahead and proceed and haul this big badass boy walk back to the lumber mill box what a box it's back then walk <laughs> Milwaukee box there you go so let's go and I, I need I, I need to pull him a little bit closer because there's a big chance for you to hit uh, other terrains. At least you will have somewhere somehow the same movement as I am. All right. So let's go. Let's go, baby. It's kind of heavy, huh? I can I can I can already feel that my truck, as of success, needs to produce more power. You can see that the smoke in him. It's always existing because I think it's going high here. Because he understands that he is hauling something heavy. You know CAD. CAD is perfectly, I think, all of the parts of CAD are basically metal. I mean, this truck that we're using, probably a portion of it are aluminum or probably uh, the other types of metal that are kind of lightweight. But for the CAD truck, everything, I, as far as I know, are metal. The body frame are metal. Because they are designed to do heavy uh, type of uh, work especially on mining side uh, you know I think I'm not if I'm not mistaken the first cat was a dump truck or probably an ex excavator if I'm not mistaken so that is why I can feel actually even on my wheel it's kind of heavy ready to, to turn because we are hauling something heavy on our back or on our ass Okay, and guys, by the way, please guys, I need your support on the stream. Please don't forget to like, share the stream, and if you're not yet a follower, I would appreciate for you to click the follow button and or just simply type exclamation notify. 
And again, if you're a SnowRunner player and you want to have uh, an easy way to find for other players doing uh, console, either Xbox or P PS4 or even PC, please join my Discord link. It's on the pinned comment. The Discord uh, invite is there. Hop on it and then if you want to look for some players uh, in-game, you can use the general general what do you call this general chat oops okay hop, hop, hop. okay so the truck i'm not pressing any gas the cat is actually pushing me down he is pushing me down i already have my handbrake on i'm pressing the brake he is still pushing me that's how heavy he is so we have okay so we have to play with this because okay i'm gonna try it all right i'm, I'm not gonna press any brakes i will not use the handbrake See what happened. I'm not using an acceleration. This is just downhill. He's pushing me. And he is one heavy truck. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. We're going faster. Wow. This truck is really something. And this is dangerous in real life if this happens. You know, because if you're um, pulling someone, then you're going downhill. Icy road is a recipe for disaster. Okay, now I'm using my acceleration because we're almost at the bottom of the, of the road, the downhill one. And he is kissing my ass. <laughs> this truck is really something, alright? So we will have him in here, but I think he's not in any use because he doesn't have any back frame. And I have to send him home for us to equip back frame on him. And voila! Come on. We have to hit the orange box. For the system to recognize you. Ah! Oh, what the F? What happened? I need to deliver you in the lumber mill. Yes, he's here. He's here. There he is. Hey. Oh, I need to repair him. So I need to repair him. Do I have repair? Nah. Okay, so since we need to repair him, I'm going to send a re our repair guy. Okay? So again, guys, I could repair him, but he is not a repair truck. Alright, I have some repair points here on my back, but this is just only um, dedicated for his own use. So again, I'm making it realistic. I'm making it roleplay style. So I'm going to send in our Navistar, which is our um, repair truck. So there he is. He's waiting. This is uh, his job, so I will send him. And again, the good thing about this, I'm sending him in this uh, location in the event that we need to rescue further or future trucks in that map. We have some repair truck ready to roll out. So here you go. So this is Navistar. So on this side, actually, where our heavy crane uh, truck operator is parking. So we will send him to help out. All right. So let's do this. Come on, start your engine. There you go. So we will send them. All right. We will send them to help. So this is my fleet. This is my logistics company. <laughs> So I have specific trucks for specific use and I don't want to um, you know take out the responsibility from them. If I need if I need them, I will have to send them. Okay? So since we need to repair a big truck, I could send out the international load star, but he is designed to help out other scouts. But if we need to repair big trucks, I'm using this bad boy here. So I don't use him for any uh, any other task. He's only designed to uh, repair other trucks as well. All right. So again, I'm making it realistic. I'm making it role play. So please bear with me. I hope you don't mind. Hey, Raymark Dunka, what's up, brother? Good evening, lads. Shout out to Battle Pass. Battle Pass is tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I need to tighten my wallet. <laughs> Guys, I'm playing Dota, so that is actually I think the yearly thing that we are. All Dota players are waiting for. That is the thing. So I might, I might play Dota a couple of games tomorrow, and I hope you will still support me. Uh, any one of you guys playing Dota here? Let me see. Let me see those Dota players, and probably we can play together. We can. I mean, except you, Raymark. I know that you're a Dota, not only a player but a Dota girl or a, a, a Dota master. But anyone here from my international friends, do you play Dota too? If you are playing Dota, too, please drop down. Um, your name or your 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 uh, Dota profile, I will add you up so that we can play together. Two or Canada, you battle pass. So, oh my gosh, seriously, 
to Arcana? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to check it out tomorrow. Do you have any a, any idea what time will it be? The Battle Pass? Battle Pass 2020. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for the, for the Battle Pass. I have been out in Dota for, for quite some time um, because I was addicted with SnowRunner, Warzone, and GTA. But I think I need to visit Dota soon. Again, I hope that I have some international friends who's playing Dota so that we can play together on my live stream. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Take a left. He's, he has a bad turning radius, but yeah, it's okay. So he is the, the, the Navistar thingy. And he is one big... Well, he's not the perfectly good truck, but yeah, he has his use. Like my repair truck guy. It's actually part of pre-order, so I didn't pre-order the game, FYI. This is just a mod, just to get the skin. <laughs> so, there you go. I'm just gonna refuel here first. So we still have a long journey with us. Just for us not to have problems when we try to rescue that cat wherever he is right now. So again, uh, the chain tires is not technically supposed to be um, placed on the tires, especially if you're moving fast, because it will definitely gonna ruin your tires. Based on what I've discussed with a Swedish guy, that he said that the chain tires we only use chain tires if we are stuck. So I'm gonna suggest to the devs the chain tires should be should be a uh, part of the switchables that we have to activate only if we are stuck because sometimes if you are stuck on mods and then you have a switchable all-wheel drive and differential lock then that should be one of the options that they should incorporate in this game and they should introduce a new type of tires which is winter tires especially for snow because as of the moment snow is still probably under the category of mod because that's what i observe if you are in snow and you're not using mod tires you're having a hard time to pass but if you have mud tires it's easier for you to pass so mud and snow should be different okay but there's another thing here in in alaska on top of it it's snow but on the bottom of it it's mud so you know th those kind of uh tricky situation is also good because i'm gonna show you i hope that there's mud on this okay this is just completely snow. there's no mud okay i'm looking for uh there you go there you go there you go so have you noticed on this one here? I'm gonna I'm gonna reverse. Okay, I'm gonna show you something, just for you to have an idea what I'm trying to talk about. And this part here, there's no mud. It's completely snow. Okay, but on this particular part here, on top of it was snow, but after I passed by, it became mud. So that's why um, I think it will be a better thing for for the developer to separate the snow track from the mud because it's technically a different. Uh, different element uh, of the game so I will suggest that to them that um, they should introduce winter tires for snow terrain and then uh, the chain tires should be removed from the option and um, it should be like uh, a separate thing that you have to buy that you have to activate it similar to all wheel drive and depression right cool um, so we are heading to the lumber mill to fix the caterpillar 745c so we have to send this guy because he is our repair truck for trucks so if my international load star 1700 is one of my repair trucks but only designed to repair scout trucks okay I like the snow, I like the snow feel of this game. So we are slippery because technically the road here is already considered to be ice. If you look at it, it's already icy. It's kind of slippery if you don't have uh, chain tires because technically it should not be chain tires. It should be uh, winter tires that you have to use. There you go. 
So this is downhill, this is the dangerous part. You, know, you have to watch out. Like I told you, like I told you, like I told you. <laughs> so I have to be uh, approaching this situation slowly because if we're gonna make it fast, then if we're gonna make a slight turn, we are gonna drift and it could be disaster. Okay, here we go. I'm sliding. Beep beep. Damn, his turning rages is really crap. <laughs> what game was you talking about? Dota 2. Dota 2 of uh, Phil Morris. It's uh, uh, a MOBA game type. Okay, so let's re be fair. Repair <laughs> this guy here. Now this turn. Nope, Caterpillar. Voila. Voila. Now we have to deliver him, which he is already delivered, but the system doesn't recognize it. So you have to take him out. And bring him back so that the the system will recognize hey the caterpillar is already here again <laughs> again and i have to winch him so i will park this guy here and wait for further command stop the engine change drop and go to as of six and then winch the caterpillar but well, you have to start the engine first before you can activate the winch so we have to go around we have to go around Same thing with this truck. He is one good truck, but his turning rages is really crap. So we have to go all the way around, take him back to that yellow box for the system to recognize. The Caterpillar 745C is already here, fully repaired with no problem. That's your truck, you know, that had William Hollis. That's your truck. This one here, uh, the one that I'm hauling, is actually a part of the of the task. But once I completed this, this will be part of my fleet, or it will be available uh, for me to use. So welcome, William Hollis on Dustmat Road. So if you're not yet a follower, please, buddy, kindly click that follow button. There you go. We have here the cutter pillar, but he is no use as of the moment because we have to take him back to the garage to equip. Uh, the container thingy on the back or probably equip him with a uh, fuel tank so as of the moment it's no use at all so i'm just gonna park him on the side as well and we'll let go of the winch okay, switch off the engine change truck and park this bad boy somewhere probably just there so his all-wheel drive is you have to activate it you have to remove it same with the differential lock thingy thingy so I'm just gonna wait for further command in this way in this place. I'm just gonna be able to stay as of the moment because you are not in use. William Hollis, yes, there you go. Now he is part of my fleet because I already completed the task. Now let's check again what other tasks do we have here. Um here village delivery. Where's the village? The village is right there. Cement gonna be there consumable. I'm gonna be here as well. Cement is consumable. Oh no, cement is gonna be here. Who do we have here? As of seven. Cement, consumable. Mm -hmm. Who is this guy? Dan. Okay, so we will use as of seven for this operation. We will buy. Hold on. So we have a. Is this a trailer? No, it's not. So we have. Where's the trailer store? Where is the trailer store? The trailer store is here in that one as well. Aha, uh -huh, I can actually send. Let me try. Let me try if Caterpillar do have the capability to tow trailer. Let's see. Let's see. We will find out. Let's let's try him out. Okay. I'm gonna send him to check it out so that he will be in use for the first time again <laughs> so he is one big truck so I actually I do have I downloaded the caterpillar mod um, but it's the same it's the same truck nothing nothing special about it it's just for me to get the truck ahead of time so I will remove that mod because I already have the truck here so let me see if we can attach a trailer on this bad boy because I uh, oh 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 it's kind of slippery because the main road again is under ice. 
So this could be a dangerous thing for him. Let's see the, the cockpit. Wow, nice one. Let me see the, the bottom. Okay, so we have the cat logo here. Side mirror all working fine. Nicely done. We have another seat on the left. We have here a couple of thingy, the drive terrain. Let me check if that will change if I will reverse. No, it doesn't. It's just for display. I was thinking that you know, it will move. But so far, yeah, I love the cockpit view. It's good. It's like, I think so far, this is the best cockpit view that I saw. I mean, spot on. It's, it looks great. Gavit Thompson, I'm yet to try that beast. So, f because I can't really say if he is going to be a beast because when I tried him on the road, he slips a lot because he doesn't have chain tires. So I'm not so sure if he will be okay or not. So I'm going to check if we can buy a trailer and if we can attach something on him. But again, so far like I mentioned, he has the best cockpit view of all trucks that I saw. I mean, look at that. The range is like everything is viewable in front of you. So let me see. And I hope that we can buy something from here. Ah, see? Nothing. So the only options that you can use for him, you know what? I'm, let's send him home. Now I can use him to be a towing guy here. Nah, let's do it some other time. But let's go back to the garage just for me to show you what is the only thing available currently for him in terms of options, all right? Just for you guys to have an idea, especially to those people who doesn't have um, this truck yet. So I'm going to go to the garage. We will buy one, but we will not use it. We will sell it right away. <laughs> so just for you to see what is the bank options that we have for this truck. Truck store. Uh, where is it? Where is that? Guy? There you go. So let's see. Okay, we have a couple of things here. Nah, nah, nah. So he doesn't have any. This doesn't have any chain tires. So that is one bad thing about it. Winches, yeah, differential lock, nah, frame add-ons, so there's, there's only two, which is the container carrier, I think you have an idea what is the container, right? So, all you can put on that particular box, back part is just a container, so there you go, or he could be a fuel carrier, which I think he is not technically designed for this job, I think I'm only gonna use him for container, container carrier, probably that's the only thing that I will make use of him. Because I have already a fuel tanker. How many liters is this? Let's try it out. Okay, let's try it out. How many liters is this guy? I'm gonna refuel. 1600? That's bad. The other fuel tanker is 2000. And you only have 1600. Crap. I mean, that's not good. Right? So, we will recover him. And I'm gonna sell him. And then let's head back to our operation. Which is gonna be in Mountain River. What is the next thing that we have to do? Oh, we will use S of 7. Where's S of 7? There you go. Phil Morris, I want the truck. Yes, he's badass. He looks good. He looks beautiful. But he have limited use in your fleet. He could be your fuel truck or he could be your container truck. So that's the option as of the moment. So now, cement and consumable. So technically, we need a 4 X4 cargo for this one so technically this should be a job for dairy because this guy I, I don't attach trailer to this truck all right I don't want to to um, delete the purpose of other trucks so we will send another truck to help or assist the operation and this time it's gonna be dairy dairy longhorn 45220 he's one of my low subtle truck to assist the operation because as of six has been doing everything all of the lift things in, in, in that um, map. So I will send another guy to help him out because we need to give him a little break, all right? So again, we will send the dairy, the backup, um, the back up, low saddle guy. The collar, the collar brothers here are only designed for, for high saddle. So I only use them for high saddle operation. The trucks here, this three are just for design. The other trucks here are the rescue fleet. The other guys here are my workhorse. The other trucks on that corner, the four wide and the ASM4 Antarctic are just for cosmetic display. Same thing with here, same thing with here. So let's go ahead and proceed him and take him to the next area, the next map. 
There you go. Because I want him to assist the operation as well. We don't just sit in our um, garage doing nothing. That's why I have you. You have to help out. <laughs> so he is the Dairy Longhorn 4520. Am I correct? Yes, 4520. What's your favorite scout? My favorite scout would be definitely Tatarin. He is my favorite scout. But he is OP. You know me, Phil. I hate overpowered trucks. I want some challenge. So probably I would say Tatarin. I mean, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I would say Yar. Yar. Because Yar can face challenges. Yar do flips. But we, I always equip my scout with autonomous so they can still activate the winch even if the engine is stalling. So I would say Yar because Yar is can still experience uh, hardship when he goes to scouting areas compared to the Toss and Tatarin that it seems like everything is impossible or possible for him to pass. So he is the best but he is not my favorite because again he is OP. Again he is Russian because Russian trucks here or Russian vehicles it seems like they are jack of all trades. They can do almost everything anything you ask them to do it's like it's easy peasy for them so yar is my is my scout truck because sometimes it's impossible for him to do something but he can he, he can he can do the job well done as well as well but if you're going to compare him to tus tatarin the, the amphibious truck incomparable he is the king of all scout i have the hammer it gets stuck a lot and the Chevrolet. Yes, I like the Hummer as well, not to mention because he is the Hummer, he looks good. But I think the, the problem with the Hummer, I would say is about the power. His engine power is not near what Yar offers. Yar is more better, it's the six wheel truck. I mean the Scout guys, if you're, if you're not familiar with the Yar. He is the six wheel Scout vehicle. The Tatarin, the Tusk Tatarin is the eight wheel tanky like amphibious vehicle in this game so we are sending him oh i should have bought a reddit trailer stupid of me is there any trailer store here damn it uh okay hold on we have well, what we do have to get cement in the consumable where are we getting the cement in the consumable? sorry okay. i just need to double check uh this one here Finish delivery. Where is it? Cement. Where's the cement? Hey, where's the cement? Oh, I, I cannot see it. Where's the trailer store? Trailer store. I think the cement and yeah, it's right here. Where's the trailer store? So there's no tra trailer store here. So I have to pass by here and buy uh, the trailer. Oh, I should have done it before I left the 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 the, the garage. Is there first person view as well? Yes, Lef, Leaf or Leaf Johnny Pedersen. Yes, sir, there is. There's like this one. But I, I, I understand. I have a steering wheel. It will be, um, you know, um, I think. And then you can move it as well. You can move it as well if you want to. You can see the, the cockpit, the engine, everything inside. But you might be wondering why this, this guy, he have a steering wheel. It will be more reasonable or better. If he used the first person view but the thing is the, the view the obstacles and you know the appreciation of the graphics it's not the best in this situation so if you're gonna ask me personally I prefer the first person view because again I have a steering wheel it's the best experience for me but what what's important or what what matters most is for you guys because you are the one watching the game so that is why I'm doing this because you can see the the, the surrounding the nature, the graphics, the truck, the trailer, everything in it. So that is why I'm using this one, just for you guys to have a more better experience out of this game. All right, no problem. Uh, Johnny Pedersen. Pedersen. Is it Pedersen or Pedersen? Sigi Sigi Bo. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Johnny, are you Filipino or you're, you know, a couple of Tagalog words or you're uh, a foreigner? I mean, uh, a U.S. American guy or a U.S. European guy. Okay, so we have to go left and pass by the trailer store to get the trailer that we need. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, what do you mean by yeah? You're a Filipino or you're a foreigner? I mean, you're an American. No, no, what? <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not so sure if you are, are, you are what? A Filipino or an American or European? And if yes or no, so you know a couple of Tagalog words, like sige sige po, salamat po, walang anaman po. Um, Nor Norwegian, Norwegian I think, married to a Filipina. Okay, cool. Nice, 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 nice to know that. Actually, um, Johnny, check out as well, and everyone else, check out Scoops Gaming. He's actually a British guy as well. He's a streamer. He's also streaming a SnowRunner. He's a British guy, but he lives in the Philippines for almost 13 years. All right. He married as well to a Filipina, so similar to to Johnny here. Uh, he's also really an amazing guy. So check out his page, share and spread the love, support his page. He's one amazing streamer. And as well with Commander Ogosh, Handful Gaming. Oh, thank you, thank you, Mr. Uh, Pedersen for the follow. I appreciate it, brother. Welcome to Boss Matt World. Salamat po, salamat po. <laughs> All right. And by the way, uh, Johnny, if you will start this game and you need uh, assistance or anything, or if you have any questions about the game, please message me directly, or you can ask me during my live stream, or you can join my Discord um, and join in the community because we are helping out a lot of players to play the game. So I'm going to pick up probably on this one. I'm going to choose... Uh, so since it's a consumable, I think it will be better if you use the, the step deck semi trailer. Yep, let's do this one. Um, by the way, uh, Johnny, are you gonna play this game in PC or console? Because you can actually play this game either Xbox, PS4, or PC. But the only problem as of the moment in the console, there's no mods yet, and as far as I know, none of them can use their steering wheel because it's not yet supported but i think soon it will be available for console to use as well so thank you thank you johnny again for the follow i'm gonna give you a hong kong for that i got the hong kong thingy from scoops by the way guys so that is for johnny there you go thank you thank you for being a follower of boss matt road all right cool so every time we got a new follower i'm gonna give them a hong kong out of it cool so let's do it for every one of you watching the stream, Hong Kong, for you guys, <laughs> there you go. I guess it will be easy with my wheel. Nice, nice. Now Johnny, what, what kind of steering wheel that you have right now? <clears throat> because there's a lot of things that you have to do before it will work out um, with the current situation of the support of the steering wheel in this game. You need to do a lot of things or configuration before it will work. I helped already two of my followers. For them to uh, use their steering wheel the logitech g29 so i hope that you're using as well the same logitech g29 but just in case that you're using a different uh steering wheel i'm still gonna try my best to help you out you know we will we will go in discord and you will go live and i will check how do you navigate and figure your stuff but again if you will have problem activating your steering wheel or not only to him to all our viewers out there if you need support in pc because currently in console it's still not working i'll be happy to help you out go join my discord that's tough for okay. I'm not working, so I'm gonna go load here. Have to activate differential lock. There you go. So that went for that good Hong Kong. <laughs> you welcome, my friend. You welcome, Mr. Johnny Curtison. There you go, guys. He is our newest follower in this page. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm not having a little sore throat here. I hope it's not too bad. <laughs> okay, Logitech G2020. Okay, so. That's a good thing. So it's actually Logitech G2920. It's designed for PC and Xbox. But if you are PC, PS4, it's gonna be Logitech G20. But technically, you're just the same. It's just for different console platform for more sales for Logitech. <laughs> there you go. So um, for that, Johnny, just in case you will have a problem, um, if you can uh, activate your steering wheel, I'll, I'll be happy to help you out. I'll be happy to assist you. It's just gonna take you an hour or probably just 30 minutes of your time um, for me to help you out. Do you play any racers on PS4? Me? Um, no, not, not as of the moment. But I do have a different um, driving game in, in my PC. So I have here American Truck Simulator. I do have uh, Forza. I do have Gran Turismo as well. 
but I don't play them that much. I only normally use my steering wheel on American Truck Simulator and Snow Runner. Okay, so we need to get cement. Cement. So we need to get cement, which will be here. Oh my gosh! Cement is gonna be here. Remember this, guys? This place here, it's really hard if you're gonna cross here. This one here. <laughs> Don't ever pass this place. So we can get it there. So what we have to do, we have to pass by first and grab the consumables, go back out, and then go this way. Oh fuck, again this place here is kinda hard. Actually no, I will not go that way because here, on this specific area here, it's actually the the road condition is kind of tilted on on there's a part that's kind of high it's not ele it's elevated it's not flat so with Derry Longhorn he flips a lot so I will not use that route so instead I will go back here I will go this way this way is more um, friendly for trucks to pass by and then we will go straight here this one is really passable and just in case we flip then the heavy crane can be able to assist and help us out get out. So we will go here and pick up this one. The thing is going back down. So we have to go here, going back down here. But we will not go there because I, again, that, that road is really bad. So we will go back here and go up here again. And then go to the main road. Oh, no. Go to the main road here. We have to deliver this all the way to the, the village. But we will stop by and refuel. Where's the village? The village is right there. Okay, so this is one kind of long journey that we have to do. Where's the white? Where's the village? The village is right there. There you go. Alright, cool. So that is one long route. Wow. Okay, let's do this. And it's going dark. There you go. Which Force of Force of Four, if I'm not mistaken? I think that's my. Uh, the game that I have. Force of Four, if I. Force of Horizon. So it's getting dark already. Now I feel some. I can, I'm, I'm a little bit hungry already. What time is it? It's already 11.30 p.m. It's about 12 midnight soon. In my in my place, not in game. What I need to say. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Phil, do you agree with me? Um, I would suggest to the devs that the 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 chain tires or the chain on the tires should be like the same function with the all-wheel drive and differential lock. That it should be switch. You can activate it only if you're stuck. You know, it should not be. Uh, hold on, I have the wrong card though. Remove cargo. It should not be on the tires because again, um, like uh, Magnus explained to me in Sweden, that the only the only time that they use the I call this the, the chain tires if they are stuck, and if you're going like around 30 um, kph or miles per hour, it will destroy your tires. So if that is the 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 real situation of chain tires, then it's supposed to be should always should be. Uh, in this game as well, and they said that the tires that they're using in in snowy terrain are winter tires So we don't have any winter tires as of the moment in this game So do you agree that it should be switchable the chain tires? I mean not chain tires, but the chain itself a chain tire should be not available in this game um, The chain should be like a different um, option for us to purchase Walter Sebastiao, hey, what's up, brother? You're broke now. How going? How are you getting on? So far, so good. I'm loving Alaska. It's kind of a treacherous or toxic surrounding or environment, but so far, I'm doing fine. How are you, my friend? I've not tried chain tires yet. Only done the watchtowers in Alaska. Guys, share, like, and follow if you're enjoying the, the content. Thank you so much, Walter. I appreciate, my friend. Welcome back to Boss Matt World. How are you? How are you so far, my friend? How's your day? Okay, so this is the reason why I prefer this one instead of the other one because again, it's kind of 
hard to pass by in that area. Here, yeah, it's a little bit downhill, but we can, you know, use our brake to assist just in case we will continue, continue going down. So there you go. So we just have to be careful because we have a long ass step deck here. So good. How about the back part? Very okay. Just need to provide additional clearance so that it will not hit the tree. And that is the reason why I prefer this route because we have bend here. Just in case that we will flip or roll on our side, you can. Oops, oops, that's not a good one. Back, back, reverse, reverse. It's kind of hard. So go left a little. Okay. Chill. The only thing that I hate about Derry, Longhorn, he flips a lot because he's tall and he's kind of thin. So that is the reason why he flips a lot. But so far, it is a good truck. I'm gonna go and low here. I can do French a lot as well. Bear with me, guys, okay? I'm taking this slowly, surely, safely. Come on. Okay. okay we're good. We're good. Yep, we're good. Just need to okay. Can't go up. Now, make a reverse. Okay. Very good. Watch out for the tree. I think I have to go and go here because this is all the hills, but we can activate our differential. It will help um, the truck provide more power that we can easily go up. <coughs> Be back soon, boss. No, no problem, uh, boss Phil. I'll see you later. Um, Will Smitterman, my man. Matt playing in power. <laughs> and good, thanks, bro. Keep, keep at it. Hard work pays off better. Thank you so much, Walter. Thank you so much, brother, for the support and help. I really appreciate it. Thanks for the love, my man. Okay, we we are having a hard time going up. Because, again, that's a good thing about this truck. Because, let's say, if I will send other trucks, it will be easy for them to, just, you know, cruise this one. And I don't like those trucks. I prefer the truck that have challenges. That they will face challenges. Come on. Into this. Come on. There you go. Nicely. So I think we need to move um, as of away from the, the road. So we need to get two cement. We need to get two cement here. Okay, one, two. There you go. So um, let me just switch my truck first with as of seven because he is blocking the way. So you have to park yourself right on the side. You will wait when I ask you to come and help. Alright? You good? Change truck back to Jerry. And let's go. There you go. Can't you change it to daytime to make it a bit easier? I can. I can Volter, but I'm I'm making it more role play style or realistic you know so i can do it it will be much easier but i mean for you guys as well to to feel the intensity of the game you know i can do a lot of things i can use a lot of different trucks to make the task easier but i, I want some challenge <laughs> there you go so we are moving out delivering the stuff to the village cool cool Okay, here we go. So we have to make it slowly and surely. Because again, Derry, normally, he flips. He rolls on his side. Especially of the angle of the road. If it's kind of tilted on the other on one part of it, you will have a hard time. So actually, there's a path here uh, going directly, uh, quickly back to the highway. But that road right there. That part that I'm talking about is the one that is kind of kind of tilted so it will be 
hold on. I think there's another path here. If we go straight here, actually, this one, but does it go directly to the village? Actually, yes. I think this one is way more better if we use this. Yeah, I think we can use this way. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna try to adjust this, okay? I think this one's better. If we just go straight here. Yep, this one's better. Let's do this. gonna do this first. It will not ruin our GPS or waypoint. There you go. Now we just have to add a couple of waypoints here. There you go. Passing by the number mill. Go in here. Oh, this will be a problem because this is uphill. Right here. This road here. This is uphill. But it's okay. Let's do this. We're gonna do this way as I said. This is more I think. See, we cannot do a reverse. It's having a hard time making a reverse. So I'm gonna activate the differential lock. There you go. See, now it, it makes a difference. So that is one good thing about the game. You have to do something um, for make to, for it to work out. Okay. Careful. Careful. Stop! 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 Don't! Don't push. You see this guys? You see this position? This is one more wrong move and we will go on our side. We will lose our cargo on the back if we do this, if we continue. So what you have to do, use a winch. It's like a support. Alright, it's like a... There you go, if you are, if you don't have any idea about a winch. So that you, your truck will not flip. Okay, but um, you have to remove it once you are... Oh, come on. Okay, there you go. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, the head unit is okay. Now I'm gonna remove it. Now I think I have to use a winch for the back part. Yep, there you go. So that it will not fall as well. It's kind of tricky, but yeah. Then you have to, to press your F from time to time. Because the length of the winch will be getting loose as your trailer approach the tree okay I think the trailer is good yeah I can let go of the winch no problem so this is the ice this is the ice right? this one is the ice and we have uh, so far limited interaction or experience with the actual ice in this game and I'm hoping in White Valley and also probably in uh, Pedro Bay I think it's Pedro Bay we will encounter more ice because that is because snow is as of the moment is still considered to be part of month so I want uh, a task or a challenge what happened what are we hitting you are hitting something okay so if you are stuck on something use your winch so that you can pull your your you can reposition your your, your trailer because it's hitting something so that's what you have to do just why can't we move Okay. So good. It's kind of hard really to move your vehicle if you have something long on your back. There we go. Nicely done. Take your time. Oops, see that guys? Probably in any other game. Look at that. Look at that. It's just probably an inch of your trailer and it's hitting the tree and you cannot pass, you cannot push through. So that's why you have to be careful. That's why you really have to see where you're heading or else it will stop you. So we have to adjust a couple of inches away from that tree for us to pass. Uh oh, nope, it's oh. I'm not so sure what's happening, why? Yeah, it's still hitting it. We cannot. You can see, look, look at the tires. It's, it's, it's spinning, yeah? You see this? I'm gonna switch off the head. There you go, it's spinning already. Because we are. We hit that.
three there. So we have to reverse, readjust our position because it will not allow us to pass. So I'm gonna go more to the right to have more clearance. There you go. Now we can pass with no problem. Because in uh, probably in other games, that will not be. It won't make a thing. It will. It's not a difference. I mean, it will not be a factor. To stop your truck. Gavin, Martin, what's up, my brother? Hey, man, how is it going? Hey, guys, again, please check out uh, Commander. Oh gosh, there you go. Good job. Winch the middle. Oh yeah, yeah. I forget to winch. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. But you know, I just reverse a little so that we can remove. Um, the, the part of where the trailer is hitting that tree. So the parts are good. Clear. Yep, they're written. Let's go. Hey, what, what's up, Garrett? It's already it's already about 12 noon in your place, right? Because we're for me, it's kind of 12 hours, 13 to 14 hours difference from the Philippines to the USA. Okay, so far so good. So we have two cement on our back and two consumables. We are delivering this to the village. And we are trying to take our time not to complete Alaska as quick as possible. 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. There you go. You're doing awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Garrett. Thank you so much, my friend. Um, are you going live? soon it will you be live later Garrett please uh, inform me if uh, well I'm, I'm just gonna check on Facebook so that before I end my stream if I have a, a, a couple of viewers I can pass them on to you uh, I do you know that the kind of function in OBS you can do that actually you can pass the viewers to um, a friend of yours if they're also streaming okay guys so you see this let me tell you this factor of the game. So we are going uphill, right? We are going uphill. So, and the roads is icy or slippery. So we're having a hard time, even though that all our all wheel drive is activated. So we cannot really push. We can we can push, but it's gonna be so hard. So I'm going on low gear plus, and I'm gonna activate the differential lock. And it will be much easier for us to go up. No, not, oh fuck. Okay, we have to, um, actually, what you call this? Um, find um, a way for us to get the momentum. Okay, we have to get some good start before we approach the hill. I forgot to do that. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I think that, that will be enough. So it will be hard. Okay, so, so we have to find a support our speed because it's getting red, the differential lock. But yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, okay. Because we're going uphill, so it's hard for the for the wheels and the engine to produce power, so that's why we uh, re-approach it, we went down and get some momentum to have some speed going uphill, but we are now, I think, in a stable condition. But if we don't, it, if we don't do that, then definitely we cannot proceed going uphill here. Garrett Martin, I'm scheduled for 10 to 2. 10 to 10 a.m. So 9 a.m. So in an hour. So you will stream for hours. Okay, if I'm gonna end my stream soon before you end as well, I'll definitely gonna pass my uh, viewers to your page. So again, guys, please, um, a little favor, please support my friend uh, Garrett here. He's the streamer for Commander Ogosh Gaming. He's, seriously, guys, if you're having time with me, you will have much more better time with him. He is one funny, good streamer to watch to watch for. He's streaming mostly as well driving games. Oh my gosh, this is a disaster. I need to use my winch. Hold on, sorry Garrett. I have to pause my... My... <clears throat> when, I, when I try to do for, for you to build you up. Seriously guys, check out Commander Oh gosh, You will have a great time with him. Especially if there's a troll on the chat section. <laughs> that troll will be gonna be um, burned alive because the way he handles trolls are really funny <laughs> I'm scheduled for 10 to 2 10 to 12 only two hours okay so that will be on within well, just two hours of my stream normally I stream for six hours 
Oh, that was almost my <laughs> pineapples. <laughs> so I think we can go on a manual now. Automatic, I think you say. So we are near the village because consumables, I think, is technically food or some beef, probably, or poultry products, meat products. And I'm not so sure what's technically inside the consumables. But cement, technically, I think everyone knows what a cement is. So we need to push a little forward. Because again, remember, we have something long in our bag. We have to consider that as part of our body. Or else you will have a hard time. Because if the trailer will flip or roll over, your, your main truck as well will follow. So you can see here this is kind of elevated so you have to be watch out. you have to watch out if it's gonna tilt or not then you have to use your winch to support slowly but surely sir so far so good the head is okay yeah we're good yeah we're good yeah we're good we're okay The village is right there, so we are almost done in terms of our delivery. Yep. This is it, Pansit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Okay, stop the engine. Let's check what will be our ne next task. Mountain mix, polar bear. Okay, where's the fuel? Mm -hmm. We can ask Asil 6 to do this for us. What's, what's the other task here? Drilling equipment, White Valley. We will not do this here. I'm not doing anything in White Valley. White Valley, nope. Okay, this one could be. I'm gonna accept this just because it's technically within the map, but I'm not gonna do it yet. I only accept that our task that we will do here. Okay, this one as well. This is a lot of delivery. This is a lot. Small pipes. Okay, this will be a lot of operation that we have to do. Wow. I'm gonna do you last. I'm gonna do you last. So probably let's check here. This one, white valley one. So mountain maze. So wooden planks will be here, and then fuel will be there. So let's activate as of 6 for this operation, okay? As of 6, there we go. So you need some trailer, and you don't have any trailer here. Nope, you don't have. And you have to go out to pick it up. Well, yeah, we can do that. We can send him to go here first, and then that's here go here and then buy something from the trailer station all the way here again and then pick it up actually go here there you go go back here here um, somewhere here there then here then all the way back to the lumber mill hold on and then here, where's the polar base? Polar base, where you at? This is the one, right? Yes. Um, what is the best way to go there? Up here? Yeah, it's up there. So basically, actually, in this map, I would say that it's small on, it's more on highway driving. That is basically it. Long hauling. It's like similar to American truck. You know, like you are moving parts. It's not about technically off-road. There's minimal off-road activity in this map. Which is kind of different from the usual activity in this game. Which is kind of okay because majority of the routes that you use here for this operation is highway. Yeah, okay cool. So let's go. We will activate him. As sub 6 again. In service. Let's go. Let's go baby. So majority of our operation here is actually about using low saddle trucks that they have to buy trailers with them to um, 
complete certain task. So, um, for Dairy Longhorn, he will hold the trailer for a moment. What is this? What's that middle of the road? It's a rock. FYI, guys, rock are also part of the physics or element of this game. If a rock will hit your, your tires, it might flip, it might um, jump up. And those big rocks, these are just small rocks. There's big rocks here that looks like already a boulder. If it's stuck under your belly, <laughs> that is one of the worst problems that you will encounter in, in this game. But for me, probably the most annoying thing here are tree stump. Because tree stump are just stationary in one position. And if you got the tree stump under your belly, it's really freaking hard to get out of that situation. Rocks are kind of okay still. Because if you can push forward, the rocks are just going to roll with you. But the tree stump, no they're not. So you have to be careful with tree stump in this game. I'm back boss. Hey, what's up? Welcome back boss Phil. I rolled four times. Did you catch scoop last night? No, I, I didn't because probably I was playing as, as well. Did you roll four times? <laughs> using what, what truck, Garrett? What truck are you using last night? <laughs> you rolled four times. Hey Phil, what did you do? You eat uh, food or you're not playing at the moment? At the moment, Phil. What time do you normally play? Okay, so again, we are buying a trailer to get this uh, products or commodities, and we will deliver this to the polar bees. Four times in the fire freight freight liner freight liner freight liner freight liner. Um. I'm not so sure. What is the freight dinner time now? Okay. Well, for me, it's um, midnight snack. But I haven't gotten any dinner yet. But it's okay. At least I can be slimmer a little. The short, tall one. The short, tall one. Are you talking about the ass of seven? The ass of seven, I think. I start playing about 7 p.m. when the kids go to bed. So about two hours. Okay, I see. So you have minimal time playing the game, huh? Well, that's okay. At least you can take your time really good, you know, when you, when you play this game. Because again, for me, I think, I think like, fly, time, fly, time flies, flies, I don't know. I don't know what's the, 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 the line for that, for that one. It's really very quick for me to almost complete this one. We just, I'm kind of sad about it. <clears throat> fly. Time flies by. Am I, is that correct? Is that the proper one for that? So we need an X3. So we just need something X4. Where is an X4 here? Flat. Nah, I don't want you. You're not realistic. No, not, not as well. Heavy duty, nope. Uh, I think we're gonna use this. The other one. Where's the X? There you go. The flatbed. And let's use this one instead. I lose track of time when I'm playing, so I have about 5 hours. Time flies when you're having fun, <laughs> exactly. M916A1? What truck is that? M916A1. I'm gonna check it out later. You know, you know what? I'm actually curious. What truck is that? Uh, hold on. Can you see the, the... Okay, hold on. Bear with me. I will open a different one. I'm gonna share. Display screen. No, not this one. Other screen. There you go. So, what is that? The M. What is it? M nine one six E one. What is it? Oh, the army truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Yes, he is actually. Um. Hey, by the way, guys. Good thing. Check this out. Check this out. I have a really great wallpaper. Huh? Huh? Why can't I show the deck stuff? Damn it, never mind. <laughs> I was about to show you something like I have really a, a cool wallpaper that I got. It's a snow runner wallpaper and it's 3D. It's like alive on your background. It is amazing wallpaper. I use it, I'm using a wallpaper engine from Steam. Check it out. I think it's just three or four bucks, but the, the options that you have to choose from any background that you can get is really amazing. There you go. So let's go ahead and pick up this item that we need. 
Again, using as of six, back and service. Watch out for the tr for that. Okay, we're good. So we need to get two fuels, correct? Yeah. And then we have to go back that way to get the wooden planks. So we are approaching this way because we have to go inside. So we will have clearance to get out. And they need to refuel as well. So let's keep this way so that we can just we will just gonna reverse. Okay. Fuel. Okay. Then reverse. Then forward. Go almost the most left side. There you go. Then make the right because we don't wanna hit the, the fuel station, right? So we need to get two fuels. There you go. Watch out. You don't want any explosion in this place. <laughs> It will be dangerous to happen. Alright, there you go. We're good. We're good. We're out of here. So we are going back to the lumber mill to pick up the wooden planks and we will deliver this to the polar base. And again, like I mentioned to you guys, majority of the operation in this area of Alaska is most likely on main roads. So it's kind of similar to ATS, this type of um, um, area, because again, when I when I when I was in Michigan, and also in Saimir, Russia, I have limited use or minimal use of the main road. Normally, it's about the terrain that you have to pass and everything. But on this map, most of the missions here, even on a North Port, actually majority of the mission is actually accessing or uh, using the main road. So it's, it's a different thing, which is kind of okay, at least you have uh, different types of environment on each area or each map. Because in Michigan, it's majority a combination of highway and uh, highway and uh, uh, muddy roads. In Taimir, I would say 80%, probably 80% in Taimir, probably almost 90% are off-roads. You have to go to muddy places. You don't have concrete roads. You have a little... There's a portion that is concrete in Taimir, but it's it's mostly mud in Taimir, Russia. Here in Alaska, probably 70% of the tasks that you do in Alaska are using main roads, which is also tricky because the main roads here are under or icy, it's slippery. So that is probably what is the concept all about for you to have different experience on every road that you try to pass in this game so we are going in picking up uh, wooden planks come on there you go wooden planks yep we only need one so we don't take much more that is not part okay uh nah i don't want to i can actually check the other contracts if there might be some future uh, requirements for wooden planks and we can deliver it as well but I don't want to do that because again I want to take my time in this last area of mine which is Alaska because I am 100% complete 100% complete in Saimir Russia and 100% complete in Michigan USA Alaska looks like the easiest map for what I've seen you play really yeah I, I think so as well based on, 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 on my experience as well. So far, um, Alaska is actually more on fast route, you know, quick access and, and roads. But like the exp now I just realized that the experience, the, the agony, the hardship that I have to, to face that I have in Taimir is really something. I, I think Taimir, even though I have most of the trucks already, I have everything that supposedly I need, I still have a hard time completing and finishing Russia. Seriously, the quarry, the muddy part, the port area, I'm, I'm, I mean, it's really hard in Taimir, Russia. So that's a good suggestion that you ask, I mean, that's a good thing that you ask me, um, Phil, if you're gonna do Russia first or Alaska. It's a good thing that you, I, I, I advise you to do Alaska first because again, it seems like in terms of 
the level of, of challenges if you're gonna do one thing from the next one um, I would say so far Alaska is the easiest then Michigan then lastly would be Tymir Russia okay here we go so if you're using a car you're just gonna go ahead and make a right turn right but remember you have something long on your back so <laughs> you have to provide a little friends Okay, my, my steering wheel is going low though. Okay, so far it's so good. I actually supposed to prefer this type of view. It will be a little bit harder for me to maneuver because I don't see the road. But yeah, that's good. I prefer this type of look. At least you can see the front part of it. It's kind of cool as well. I'm just guessing I'm doing the right turn. And maneuver <laughs> kind of tricky to drive having this type of view see we almost miss a turn here a good thing that we are quick of hitting our brakes there you go take it easy my friend take it easy take it easy don't hit <laughs> so i think we are heading already to the polar base Okay, so we are making a ride. So again, we have to go on the outer part before we make a left. We are sliding actually. Uh, 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 because it's downhill. So careful because it's kind of tilted. We might roll. Okay, so we are now going off the road. Yeah, even the muddy part of this game, of this map, is not really tricky. It's not really hard. Like, we can pass by with no problem at all. Okay. Easy peasy. Okay, this is the base. on screen OBS brother OBS so um, you actually like for example right here you can see guys right so where is my chat there you go so this one is actually I think setting for chat back so what do you have to do click sources and then where's the chat back here chat back there you go this one right here you can use this one and then add source and that's it cool That's because you have the right truck for the job. <laughs> I agree. All right. So what's the next next thing for us to do? So nope. We have one here. Building spare parts. Where do we have to get it? So this one. So we need to use four. We can use dairy. Oh, we just closer. Yeah, I think dairy will be okay. What is this? Oh, my tatarin. My scout is waiting here. Uh, we can use him. Okay, we can do this one. So let's switch to dairy. Dairy long one. There you go. Hey buddy, I need I have something for you. So go to the service warehouse. So work your ass back out on the main road. Here. Going down here. Here. There. There. And then where do we have to deliver this one? Move parts. Warehouse. So from there you have to go back out, go here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we can pass by. There's a shortcut actually. We, I can see here. 
so we can try this one. <coughs> go that way. Voila! That will be our route. Let's go! So you have now to maneuver. Oh, 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 oh. There's a tree stump here. So, do we have to. Mm hmm. We have a problem here. You say we have a problem. We need to refuel. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Okay, guys, before we do this, I'm gonna call in Tatarin because he have a couple of uh, reserve uh, fuel on his back so he can go out and help. So, um, go here. There you go. So he will provide a couple of fuels to our friend. I think that's 120 liters of fuel that he can provide because the route that we will take, there is no fuel station for us to pass by. So we have to do this nicely and surely. So this is for me, I think, the OP, overpower scout in this game. That's why I rarely use him. If I need to do some scouting operation, I will send Yar. Oops, what happened? beside him so we can provide him fuel refuel roof rack there you go okay I'm gonna push forward stop the engine change drop Very. now I'm thinking how to go back there actually we can maneuver how do we go back Okay, let's try it. We have to see if, the, if my plan will work or not. Okay, so we have a couple of problems in terms of... Oh, watch out for the storm. Watch out. That will be your problem if you don't. Continue. So I, I hope that this will be enough for us to go back to where we should go. Up, up, so watch out. We will destroy the axles. Careful. Good, good, good. Nice, nicely done. Yep, we're good. Alright everyone, good day to our 14 viewers. Welcome to Boss Matt World. I need to ask a little favor. Please don't forget to like the page. Please share the page as well. And if you're not yet a supporter, please support Click that follow button. I know it's a small gesture, but it means a lot to me. So I would like to thank you in advance for your lovely support. I have to go left, right? Yes, I have to go left. 40 trees. My bad. The differential lock for this truck. The only time for you you can use it if you are low here. But if you're under automatic, you cannot use it actually. So so far we don't have any problem. I mean he can get out ease, so that's why we deactivated and went to automatic instead. Okay. Let's Okay. okay, this road here is downhill actually, so you have to be careful because if you don't, you will slip going down. So you have to be careful. Actually I'm gonna go and load you. So we don't we don't use we don't use the acceleration, we're just gonna support um the gravity on this one that we won't have no problem 
So you see the differential lock or you're getting red already. So I'm not deactivated. So I'm not pressing anything. It's just the downhill. I'm just supporting it or hitting brakes from time to time because if we don't do that, I tell you, we will flip because of the speed that we will get. But once we're near at the end of this downhill, I'm gonna use the acceleration. Okay, this time it's okay. So let's go. Yep, yeah, we're good. So we have to get drilling spare parts. Watch out for that turn. You have to reduce your speed or else you will slide and you will hit the corner. You will bump in that corner. That will de destroy your suspension and tires at the same time. And you don't want that to happen or else you need to send a rescue fleet to help out to repair your truck. This is my first time in this place. Oh crap, we have to, do, to, to move something big here. Probably it's one of the mission later. So I might bring in our caller to do that operation. So we need drilling spare parts for the one, right? Two, three, only need four. Okay, so that's the main maneuver with this tight space. it because it's technically gonna be easier so instead of us going around here looking at it it seems like a pathway a pathway to disaster no way I will not do it looking at this one here it's kind of tilted so there's a possibility that we might tilt so no way. I will not do it <laughs> it's a road to disaster so I don't want to do that I don't want to take that one I hope you're not getting dizzy with my camera moving from time to time because I have to check not only the front part but also the back part. Garrett Martin. Thank you my friend. You're welcome Garrett. That's because you have a very good look at me, I understand. Up, 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 up. Watch out, watch out. Um, Phil, do you like the new position of my where I'm driving? the? The most right part because before it was near the, the the fuel and i was thinking hey it's kind of blocking majority of the view of the game so that's why i decided to reposition it on this kind of part and at the same time when you are chatting my face is kind of near so that you will get annoyed a lot <laughs> i'm just joking <laughs> but i mean because it was on the center almost on the center previously so i said i think i have to move it to a little on the side okay so you see guys the, the tires are just rolling so sometimes you have to, to go on low gear activate differential lock and if it's not gonna work use your winch <laughs> use all of your resources and we cannot still proceed what happened combination of two different uh, use or equipment in the game well, means a lot. No. I don't have any more charger because you destroyed my charger, remember?
So can you bring me some drinks? Kind of thirsty. It's kind of hot. Not only hot, the humid. Oops, oops, oops. We might have a problem here. Uh, I need to go a little bit left. We cannot move. Let's use our lunch. Hey, shout out Travis Barrett. Thank you, thank you for following Boss Maxwell. Let's give him a honk for that. This is for Baron. Welcome, welcome, my friend. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Travis Barron, for, for following Boss Maxwell. There we go. Here we go. A little bit clearance before we go right. So we have a long ass to consider. There we go. Both ways look good. Watch out. Let's go on automatic because the differential lockers are getting hotter already. Fuel line is almost half, so but I think it's just 110 meters away, so we are perfectly fine. This is the first time that we are really going fast on, on the main road. Delivery. Nice. Switch off the engine. What's the next task? Uh, White Valley. White Valley. Seriously? Deliver to North Fork. Where is it? Oh! High saddle. There you go. We will take this one. We will take this one. But not yet. Hold on. Let me double check if there's any more. Here you go. So this is the, like, you have to cross the whole map for this one. So we, wow, that is a, a long trip to do from here going back to North Fort. Um, we still have two contests here, which is a job for our scout. Go to the target. There's only one target. Okay, never mind. So let's do this one first. The lumber mill supply. Okay, so let's start tracking this. So let's plan this properly. Because Derry here have lim limited uh, fuel, so he needs to refuel. So he needs to get service spare parts, which will be coming from here. Metal beams will be coming from here. We have here... No, caterpillar is not use of any small. Small pipes will be here. So this one will be catered by As of 7. The metal beams will be catered by Derry Longhorn. Together with two of the service spare parts fuel and two service spare parts will be managed by as of six where's as of six as of six is there yep okay so we will hold on hold on let me just recheck it again one more time just to make sure service spare parts here metal beams will be managed by derby refuel Pick up two service spare parts and then deliver it to Sawmill. After that, we will activate Asov to get two more service spare parts. Pick up two fuel, then deliver it to Sawmill. And then after that, we will activate Asov 7 to pick up the small pipes. Yes, that's the plan. So let's start. I'm going to start with Asov 6. Okay, let's start with Asov 6. Alright, so we will pick up um, fuel for him. That's technically the plan. So, actually, it's there fuel. Yeah, we can pick up fuel here as well. And then after that, pick up here. Um, two service spare parts. Correct. Service spare parts will be here. Service spare parts. Yep. And after that, we will deliver it to the sawmill, which is that way. So we just have to go back here. Then go back. There you go. Easy PC intersection put a waypoint where you're going. They will not be lost. Alright. Oh where's the server? This one here and good. Alright. So let's do this first. Dirty. Can you can you maneuver? Yep, you can. 
So we are almost done in this map. Wow, that was quick. That was quick doing this map. I was kind of kind of not challenged to it. Well, we still have two areas to go, but I mean, it's getting closer and closer that we are almost going to complete the game. Which is again, I'm afraid to do so because I'm freaking in love with this game. Okay guys, um, do you mind if I go on a quick, quick break? I just need to get a couple of food, so just check out this great view here with the sun. I'm going to change it to afternoon. There you go. So give me a second, right? I just need to pick up some food, and then we will resume our task. That was the best view. I think this one's better. There you go. That was good. Give me a second, guys, okay?
Go. Nice. Actually, this is a great view. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna take a picture of this one. This one's good. The yellow thing is actually destroying the view. service spare parts, refuel, deliver it to the song. about to supposed to hit the, the signage of the thing where we did it. It's kind of hot. Can I open the AC? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna open the AC. It's really hot. We hit something. What did we hit? Watch out. There you go. So we need to get two fuels. One, two. Right? Yes, two. Let's proceed. Trailer? Where? Oh, we didn't notice that. <laughs> that was close. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watch out. There we go. Very good. Hey, I'm eight. Matthew Bamber, how are you doing my friend? How's the steering wheel so far? Everything's good? Hey Matthew, by the way, just realized you, you have a, a controller with you, right? Matthew, do you have a controller with you? You're using a controller before you use the steering wheel, am I correct? <clears throat> I'm gonna wait for your response because I have to tell you something important and it's gonna love gonna love it service spare parts yes actually we can take red three but yeah let's take three instead but we still have to go back here dairy 
Longhorn will be the one gonna complete getting the other one. Watch out, watch out. Watch out for the pool. Oops. And over a little. Watch out. Okay, hold on. Oops. I think that will be enough for us to proceed. All good. How about the pole? Yeah, all good. Yeah, we're okay. Look at that view. Isn't it lovely? Yes, I use PS4 controller. Bamberg, you can use a steering wheel for driving. You can use your PS4 controller to control the crane. So at least you have more um, versatility or you have more option to make it more easier for you. So just a suggestion. You can use both at the same time. You can activate the steering wheel, you can activate the PS4 controller with no problem. So check it out. Or probably you might be doing it already. Because one of the friends that we have, Magnus, I help him as well um, work his controller. And um, he was actually kind of not used to, con to use the, the, the keyboard to control the, the, the crane. And he tried using the controller and he could still use it. So probably you can do it as well. But he was using an Xbox controller. So I'm not so sure if that will be a problem for PS4 together with the steering wheel. So check it out, try it out, and you know it will be great for your for your for your own experience. Oh my gosh, that was close. Oh, hold on, we don't have any GPS. Oh my gosh, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> it's okay. Let's just. I was going on the wrong path. I forgot to. Um. Yep. There you go. We went the other way around. There you go. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Watch out. So far so good, we're okay. FYI guys, for those people that are not yet playing the game, the rocks on the road are not just display. They are part of the physics or factor of this game. If you hit those rocks, especially big rocks, it will be a big problem for you. Especially if it's stuck on its belly. On the belly of your truck, what I mean to say. So after this, we will send in Kolob, our high saddle truck, to help this operation. I'm going to use the, the other Kolob. The smaller column so that we will have more challenge awesome thanks man i'll give it a try sure sir brother and tell me tell me if, if it's uh working as well so that i can add that to my uh video that i will create on how can they um operate or uh use their steering wheel together with a controller so that i can be more specific when i create the guide on how can you activate your Logitech G29 steering wheel in this game. Because I tried to, to uh, help um, Will Smitterman because he's using a Trustmaster, but I'm not so sure because I'm not familiar with the firmware of Trustmaster because again, I'm using a Logitech. <coughs> Excuse me. So probably it's already 12.40, probably 10.40 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so most likely Commander Ogosh is already on live, so guys, please check out his page, share the love as well, click the like button, support his page and everything. Is this the one, right? Yep, this is it. Okay, so please park your vehicle because we will send another vehicle here to complete the order. There will be two more trips before we can complete this one, right? 
So I'm just gonna put him here on the side so that he will not block the, the road for other trucks to come in. Okay, you're good? Yep, you're good. Okay. Stop and then I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna switch off the display capture so that you don't see those notifications because it will just gonna block your view. We will switch to Derry. Derry Longhorn, where you at? Will Smitherman, I'll be glad once they get it where I can use the wheel. It will allow me to submerge into this game that much more. Actually, Will, um, I hope that you will still be up um, once I'm done with my stream. And let's talk in Discord. I'm going to check your firmware and let's try to work whatever we can work so that we can uh, probably activate your steering wheel. So if you just can kindly bear with me, probably I will be still on for one more hour or I don't know. But I hope that you will still be up. But just in case you will not be, let's do it some other time. I'll be happy to help you out, okay? What's next that we have to do? <clears throat> um, so we need to get one more service spare part, which will be here. Metal beams is already here. And that's basically it. Yeah, because the fuel is done. Small pipes will be managed by ASOM 7. <coughs> okay. So metal beams. Metal beams. Oh, medium pipe is also here. Hold on. Where's the metal beams? Huh? Why is it there are no metal beams here? Where's the metal beams? I thought metal beams would be here. Oh, metal beams will be in the factory. Small pipes will be here. Hmm. I'm thinking, hold on. Metal beams will gonna be here. So there we will have to pick up one service spare parts here. He can hold the small pipes. Hold on guys, I'm just... Because small pipe is also available in this place where Asov is already located. Or... Because if we will get the small pipes, we cannot get the metal beams. Because we will get one. Hold on, I'm just trying to configure the best that I can. Me um, small pipes is available here. Metal beams will be here. Asov can actually just pick this up one. Yeah, let's just ask Asov to pick up the last service spare part. So, but Derry needs to refuel. That's the thing. Okay, I got it now. <clears throat> so go here, then refuel first. After you refuel, go down here all the way down here and pick up the metal beams in this place and then go back out and deliver it to the sawmill there you go <coughs> yep yep but actually small pipes small pipe is this actually here ready nah yeah let's do this <coughs> so i'm gonna go get small pipes there you go. There's no metal beams here, right? Nothing. Yeah, small pipes. There you go. So we just need one. Actually, I don't need to, to refill because there's a fuel trailer here or something. There you go. You can see that? There's a fuel something. You can actually just so the trailer might not be able to. So actually, we can refuel here instead. So we don't need to refuel. So if that's the case, oh sorry, oh sorry, my bad, my bad. If we don't need to refuel, then we can cancel this actually. We can cancel this one. And instead, we can go here to this road here. There you go. Much easier, much faster. Hey boss, have I missed anything? Um, just me, you missed me. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. 
so far no hiccups no problem um, this one the lumber mill supplies is actually one really um, long mission for you to do you have to do three back and forth for three deliveries before you can complete it so I'm actually hauling already a long trailer so and then after this we will have probably one of the longest mission that we have to do next one which we have to send a high saddle truck which is a job for the color brothers I'm gonna use the less stronger column um, so that there will be challenges for us to face if we will send him because if we will send the big brother column it will be just gonna be easy for him so we will use the, the, the younger column I'm gonna show you guys later what do I mean by the color brothers Dairy is really, really one of the uh, uh, fuel burner in this game. He eats a lot of fuel. That is no wonder he has 400 liters of fuel. He is freaking drinking that fuel really fast. He is thirsty. One good thing about Dairy is his turning rages is really great i like his turning rages it's really good so we have to maneuver going this way all the way around so that we can get out of this place as well with no problem uh metal beam there you go <coughs> Actually, I could have picked up the service spare parts already, together with Derry. But we don't only have to do one, one, one movement. But it's okay. I mean, at least we can use Asav as well, because it's, it's uh, actually cold right now. It's sitting up for some some time already. So if we are down to the last two tasks, we have to complete. Uh, I have to get all of the other upgrades before we finish the last two scouting mission in this place, alright? There's a two more scouting mission that we have to complete. It's actually a contest, but it's a job for, for a scout because it's going on the mountain and we will, we will do that with our scout, which is Tatarine is already here. I can, I can send Yar, but it will take some time before we can do that, so... We will just maximize the presence of battery and ready in the place. Why am I so far? <laughs> there you go. There you go. So we are down. So where are you coming from, Asov? So pick it up and going this way. So I have... No, I think you can pass by already. There's enough clearance. Yeah, that will be enough. Nah, let's park it properly. give him room <laughs> it seems like I just reset my position. I'm just trying to make trailer go straight. There you go. Stop the engine. Go to ass of seven. Ass of seven. There you go. So he, we need to. I hope that there's a service spare parts here as well, so that we don't need to go farther. Is there a service spare part? Nah. 
there's none. So we have to go down hill again. Pass here, go up here. All the way here. Go this way, that way. Oops, a little. Quick. Then pick it up, then go out again. Pass by the fuel station. Intersection. I always put my waypoint ahead of the intersection so that I will not be confused if I need to go left or go right. right here. Voila! And we're done. Oh, okay, there we go. So we have to make a reverse. This is one of the contests that we have to do. So again, it's a job for Tatarine. We will activate him after this, okay? Before... Actually, we will do the, the, the last contract in this place before we ask him to be in operation. We have to send the column to pick him up, to pick up the, the, the big trailer, and we have to deliver it back to Black River. Hey, Dan, what up? Wow, look at the moon. That is freaking amazing. Okay, hold on guys. I need to take a picture. I think this one is really a, a good picture for us to... Nah, but... Nah, nah, nah. Next time, next time. Next time. I'm gonna do it next time. <laughs> Sorry guys. Because the moon, the high beam, it, it's gonna be a perfect picture to take, but... The blue waypoint is destroying the, the view, so... I'm gonna do it some other time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Shout out to our four consecutive. Actually we have four uh what do you call this? We maintain four viewers all throughout our stream. So whoever you are, thank you. Thank you so much for sticking with me. For almost three hours already um, guys if you have any question please please guys drop down those questions in the comment section are you done yeah. I have to turn on the AC it's kind of hot we have <laughs> he said I should stop streaming and we just st start a blog thingy. I hate blog. You get out of blog. I love streaming because I'm playing my hobby, my favorite thing in the world. And the best game in the world. Snow Runner. Do you agree guys? I'm freaking in love with this game, seriously guys. I am so in love with this game. I freaking love to hear that air brake every time I press the brake, press the pedal of the brake. That mm, steam. My eldest son watched me last night and he said I must have a lot of patience. <laughs> How young is your son, Phil? How young is he? <laughs> that is some smart uh, observation from a kid. Seriously, guys, because sometimes you know, really, the game is. It's, it's really gonna frustrate you some of the challenges here it's really not easy to manage but I think that is that is the game all about you know it's about how will you be able to 
complete a task. It's not about how easy it is, it's about the challenges. Ten, wow. Wow, he is a smart kid, you know. At that young age, he was able to already identify about the patience that you have to to invest in this game. It's really a good thing for, for a young kid to, to notice. So, big shout out to Phil's son. I have a four-year-old and a one-year-old too. Wow, okay. I, for me, um, my eldest is, uh, he's about to turn to six. My youngest is just one year old. Um, as far as I know, I only have two kids, so... <laughs> I might have more, but I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Just a wise crack. Just a wise crack. Okay, so we are about to complete lumber mill supplies. Voila. Stop the engine. What's next? So contest here, this will be a job for our scout. We have how many upgrades? One, two, three to pick up, which is the job for Tatarin. Um, is there any untouched areas that we haven't touched yet? I think this one here is a possibility, and this one here as well. And there's another route here on the back. But there might. We, let's check the, the progress here. We can see actually the contracts here. So, in Alaska, White Valley, no North Port, we have one more. There's one more in North Port that we haven't touched yet. There's one more. Drilling stuff? Hmm. Well, how about this one? White Valley, no, you're not yet in White Valley. Pedro Bay, okay. So, I'm going to check that one. What is the name again? North Port. Drilling stuff delivery. Let's check it out. Drilling stuff delivery. Oh, this is the one I think that we have. No, this is not the one. Okay, it's not even activated. Drilling equipment. Oh, okay. Alright, cool. So, how about in task in Alaska? White Valley, Mountain River, Northport. Yep, we're done. We're done. Contest. Mountain River, we have two to complete. In Northport, there's one that is not gold. I'm not really after about gold. I just want to clear it out. So we have to do something here. So technically, we are done. We are done in this place. So now, what we have to do is this drill leg disassembly. So we have to pick up... Um, where is this contract again? Drill leg... Where is it? This one. This one is going to White Valley. That's why I'm not doing it yet. So the oil rig salvage semi trailer will be here and we have to deliver it to North Port. So let's check North Port. Where is this gonna be? Oh guys, imagine this. It's gonna be a long hauling to do. So we have to deliver that oil rig salvage semi trailer from Mountain River going down here. So we have to take this one long road from here going back to Mountain River. So if that's the case, I'm gonna activate Colub. Colub, it's your turn. So he's right here. I'm gonna use the younger Colub, all right? <clears throat> What's your favorite map mate? Alaska, mine, USA, or Russia? Matthew, for me, the best, because of the challenge, it's gonna be Tymir. In terms of challenge, it's gonna be Tymir. In terms of how great it looks, I would say Alaska. In terms of versatility or probably because so far in Alaska majority of the operation here is using the highway in Timur it's more about the mud in Michigan it's the combination of both highway and mud so they have a different uh, we call this type of activity that you it's a different approach so but again overall I would say Timur not because it's not it doesn't look good you know it's kind of really sad place but because it's the most challenging map in this game i was about to to cry on one of the missions that i was doing but again so far it's the best okay so this is the big brother this is the big color brother here okay so i'm not gonna use him because we will use because he's actually op as well so this guy is also OP, but you know, 
he have because this guy here look his all-wheel drive and differential lock is always on okay so it's gonna be easy for him compared to his younger brother this one the differential lock and all all-wheel drive is you have to activate it so we will use him okay so we will use him all right so let's use this guy there you go so this is a job for him <coughs> a high subtle operation because he's been there sitting for a, a quite a while already so let's try to make those engine work go the fuck there you go moving out so this is one long trip that we have to do we have to go to travel this long and then we have to bring it back again which is majority again we will use our road so this will be one good test probably the only good thing about this truck compared to his uh, big brother is more faster the other brother is stronger okay so this one is more faster compared to his uh, bigger brother but both of them are really OP trucks you know I think really almost all of Russian trucks are OP. They are jack of all trades. Whatever task you ask them to do, they can do it no problem. Um, that is why probably on if, if I'm gonna restart the game, most likely I will not use any Russian trucks. Just for me to have that hardship that I because some of the American trucks doesn't have all-wheel drive, some of it doesn't have differential lock, the speed is not good, the fuel is not good as well, so probably when I restart the game, if I'm gonna do it again from the start, I will not use any American vehicle. I mean, Russian vehicle, because again, they are conquering the game with ease. Just to have that uh, different level of experience. And I might download the hardcore, hardcore mode mod, because there's a mod here, they call it hardcore. So technically what it does is that you have no recovery. You can't recover your vehicle. So you have to move them if you have to. But oh my gosh, I quit your all-wheel drive. So see that guys? We're just on the early stage and we are already experiencing technical difficulties of moving this truck. If we use the other one, <laughs> we don't have that kind of problem. So I will deactivate the all-wheel drive just to... Uh, well yeah, we can because we're going to pass by <coughs> a fuel station so no problem. So again, I'm, like what I mentioned about this mod in mod IO, it's why you call the hardcore, hardcore mode, mod. So what it does technically is that for you to to play the game, you have no recovery option. Your your points in terms of your tire, suspension, engine, it's really um, minimal. Like one big massive um, collision or crash, you're 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 already done. Your car is already uh, beaten up, so you have to send service vehicle to repair them and everything. So, I might use that if um, the the game is not yet offering the hardcore mode. Because I've heard that they are also considering that the developers of this game that they will put um, hardcore mode. So I might I might try to use that. But the problem with it is that you have to manually modify your main file of this game, which is I'm afraid of. I have a couple of mods, but those mods are technically like automatic install. I don't need to manually change anything from my files. So you are not technically putting your, your, um, your, your, what do you call this? <coughs> your main file not in jeopardy of anything. But we'll see, we'll see, because again, I don't want to manually, I don't want to touch the main file of this game. Because again, that will be a possibility re recipe for disaster. Matthew Bamber, what's your favorite mod so far for all the questions? My favorite mod will be the colors. Um, there's a mod that you can, that you, it will add you more options for you to choose from in terms of how can you use the color of your vehicle. So that is probably my favorite because all of the vehicles you have that 
uh, mod that you can change their, their the colors of their vehicle because you only have limited the default one in in game. So that is my favorite. They call it the AQ Team Colorful something something like that. So that is my favorite mod so far. Um, secondly, what will be my favorite mod after that? Probably next one. <coughs> what else? Because the other mods, majority of my mods are just cosmetic. For the cosmetic part, probably the, the, the cosmetic for the Ass of Six. The cosmetic for Ass of Six is really intense. It seems like all of the possible addition cosmetic parts that you can install in one truck, you have on that mod. I forgot uh, the, the, the title of the mod. But uh, there's also additional engine uh, came with that mod, but I, did, I don't use those engine because it's more powerful so I don't I don't I don't download mods that will make your engine your wrenches more stronger I don't download fuel mod that will make your fuel more longer or less usage or whatsoever <clears throat> because again I want challenges in this in this game which is what I'm doing right now so before we proceed we need to go here so the best route will be here this one yep, this one and then before we proceed should I refuel? Yeah, let's refuel. Because once we have the trailer, it will be hard to pass by um, a fuel station, right? So at least in this way, we have we have nothing yet on our ass, so it's easy to maneuver. But once we have, once we haul this big thing in that we're trying to pick up, then it's gonna be harder. It should be just straight on the main road. Where is it? There you go. Right here. Go. <clears throat> hey, um, Phil Morris, the Raptor. <laughs> um, yeah, the Raptor is also okay. You know, he, he looks um, probably for the 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 cosmetic of in terms of new look of the vehicle in game. Probably I like the the F three fifty. Um, it's neat. You know, um, it's re the the way that they created that that uh, a vehicle is really neat. It's nice, and then of course the Raptor as well. The Ford Raptor looks badass. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, I told you guys because we don't have chain tires. That is why we will definitely gonna skid a lot using this vehicle. Even the big call up, if you bring him here, doesn't have any. Uh, chain tires so definitely he will slip a lot because we are using just mud tires so the main road here is already part of the ice uh, uh we call this ice element of the game because like remember when you use a chain tires it's best to use an icy road oh uh, yes i saw that posted in a group the f it's a monster it is it is guys you know what i'm gonna show it to you just for you to have an idea before we proceed with this one it's just gonna be quick it's gonna be very quick this one right here, the F-350. Why F-250? It's F-350, not F-250. But just for you to have an idea what I mean. This truck here, this is for, um, I'm gonna make it after This one here, look at that. Look at that truck. It is one beautiful truck. This one here is the Silverado. I, I never use this truck. FYI, I never use this truck. It's just for display, all right? Just for cosmetic purposes. We have also, we call this a welder thingy on the back. So this one is one badass looking truck. Beside it is the Silverado. This one is the Tesla something. And this is the Ford Raptor. Let's switch to the Ford Raptor. There you go. This is the Ford Raptor, which is uh, Phil lights a lot um let's switch the, the the there you go actually if you if you have the engine on then you're gonna activate the lights no it doesn't happen remember phil that it, there's a delay before this lights went off and also this one but i'm not sure what happened and this is the minigun so but so far with all of this cosmetics i like this one and we have here as well um we call this i think it's a mercedes benz okay i'm gonna switch this one this one is no not this one here this is the mercedes-benz there you go so these are 
three other cosmetic mods that I have, but I don't use them. It's just for display. That's basically it. All right, let's hop in back to what we're doing. Where's the asset? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, column. There you go. Hey, bro, what's up? I'm from Commander. Oh gosh, gaming father. Bro. Wait, hey, <laughs> Aaron Commando. What the f? Welcome back, Aaron. How are you doing? Phil Morris, Julie. <laughs> What's up, Aaron? How are you doing? <clears throat> Have you been to Commander Ogosh? Oh he's streaming right now, correct? Hey guys, please check out my friend's page as well. Commander Ogosh oh uh, Gaming. Also, the One Smitty Gaming, Can Call, Atrax Gaming, and also Scops Gaming. They are also streaming this game, and they are one amazing people. Isito lang sa mga streamers na nakikilala mo doon. So it's, thank you, thank you so much, Aaron. I appreciate, brother. How are you doing so much, Aaron? How are you so How are you so far? Still busy with the parking lot war or something? What, what's the name of that game? So actually, I'm 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 scared to go back here because it's uphill. So we might have a problem with this truck because we don't have chain tires. So I'm not so sure if he can. If he can go back here, especially that he will haul something heavy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Watch out, like a. Oh! oh my gosh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> oops, 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 oops. What are you doing? This truck is also one of the badass. Good looking truck in this game, especially the two call ups. They are amazing beast. Oops, watch out. It's really slippery. If you don't have the chain tires, it's really slippery. I agree, I agree, Phil. They should remove those, uh, they call this, those um, blockage. You know, you already fix a roadblock, so there should be no more um, locking thingy on it. So this is what we have to pull. We have to bring this back way to North Port, and we have to deliver it to the port area. Out. Okay. Dash trailer. There you go. Let's go, let's go. Hong Kong first. And look at that, the dirt that you get from from driving, the the ice, the snow, it's just one amazing game. The graphics in it. Okay, let's go, let's go. This is it, Pansit. Wow, he is one heavy thing. How my truck moves is really slow. I heard a while ago that it seems like he has all the 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 power he, he needs. But now it's you can feel the presence of this heavy thing that you're trying to pull. So let's take this easy, nice and slow. I know that we are using just the main road, but you have to be careful. So where do we go? This way or that way? Huh? Let me just set my waypoint so we will not be <coughs> confused where to go, right? We cannot refuel here anymore. We just have to rely whatever fuel line that we have here. Mm, there you go. Let's go. Oh, 
Wow, nice one. Nice one. Hey, Aaron, can you post down your YouTube channel here? Let's ask for some favor to a couple of our viewers if they can also support their page. Uh, what is your YouTube channel again, Aaron? I forgot to include that on my on my stream for support as well. That was the back part. Very good. Is that going to hit the concrete? Nope. Oops. I did. Hey, everyone, please post down your, your YouTube channel here that uh, we could ask a couple of our friends if they can also subscribe to it. Okay, you can see, guys, the reflection of the sun on, on, the, on the road. That is the reason why it's really under ice. Because if it's not on ice, then there should be no reflection, right? If it's just plain... Um, what do you call this? It's not concrete, actually. It's uh, asphalt. There you go. And do you know, guys, that asphalt is the lowest form? I mean, one of the components of it is the lowest form of oil. It's uh, like the waste of oils. So, good thing. We, it's still usable. You can use it uh, especially on roads. So, that's a good thing. Here's my YouTube channel, Lods. There you go, guys. If you can kindly subscribe to my friend's channel, that would be great. Nice graphic. What graphics card do you use? Super smooth. I'm using a, a GTX 1080. I have a 16 gig as well of of a call this uh, RAM, 3200 speed. My my uh, CPU is just a Ryzen 5 3600. I think it's eight cores or six cores. Um, what else? Yeah, basically that's it. I have two SSD, two five six each. I have two terabyte of hard disk as well. But the other one, it's not plug in. It's just for backup of data. If I only need it, that's the only time I plug it in because it's taking power as well. If I, you don't use both at the same time, right? So I'm just using it. Oops, 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 oops. Nope, 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 nope. See, guys, we're having difficulty going up. So we have to activate this and use our winch. There you go. Or else we will slide back because again we have a heavy load on our back. So let's go on the right so that we can have more clearance when we go. Uh huh. My bad. My bad. Come on. Come on. There you go. Now go left. Go left. Go left. Watch out. Watch out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Seems like I'm hitting on something. Ups. 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 Our, our, are you stopping something? Why is it weird? Huh? Kind of weird. The, this, okay, this part here is hitting the road. This thing here. That's why you see it's kind of elevated. See that? This is the problem here. It's hitting the road. So if we try to push it slowly, let's, I'm gonna go on low here. Low minus. Let's take it nice and easy. Nah, this is, oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Damn it. How can we tackle this? I'm gonna try to winch here okay we will winch on that side just for support we're gonna again take it nice and easy right Come on, let's do this. so i'm using the winch so that it will not flip i'm sorry you're hearing something on the background because it's there's a potential that it will flip that's why i did that Whew. okay we're good that was close that was close thank you so much Aaron. that's a lot of shares my, my friend i'm sorry I didn't take you right away. Thank you so much, Aaron, for the for the share of the stream. I appreciate it, brother. Ups, 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 ups. We are gonna hit this part here, right there. It's we are really close. I think I think he can. Okay, we are just gonna slide. I think we can pass. Okay, we are sliding. It's not. It's not. Damn it. Let's try to... How can I do this? It's 
so we have to move a little bit more to the right. Oops, oops, watch out, watch out. Okay, so let's move a little more to the right so that we will have more clearance. I'm gonna look, go and look plus because it's hitting that barrier on the side. Okay, I think that will be enough. What do you have in front of you? Nothing. Okay, good. Let's take it nice and easy. Because... Come on. Back. Back. First. We're having difficulties in terms of get it out. So we have to move further more forward. Hold on, guys. Okay, this is one tricky thing that we have to hold. <coughs> Watch your front. <laughs> okay, so far so good. I think we're good now. We have the clearance all we need. Yep, yep, we're okay. We're okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nice, nice. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> that was one tricky turn. Use the icy roads to drag it around. Will Smitherman. Drag it around at the back side. That's a good looking truck that went to drag it. <laughs> exactly. I understand. Thanks Will for the for the tip. I, for, I forgot to check out the comment section. Because I was thinking on how can I try to... So we have really to make a big clearance out of this massive thing that we're trying to call. Because or else it's a recipe for disaster. Oops, oops, watch out for the tree. Okay, we're good on the front side. Now we have to be mindful or else the back part might fall here. Let's take it nice and slow. Like Usher did. Seven o'clock that drop to Sweet. Good job, boss. Thank you, boss. We all. Okay, so that's one thing. I'm not so sure how many challenges we will face moving forward, going back to Northport. But let let's take this easy, nice, and slow. Especially that we are not using any uh, chain tires because again, if it's it's really slippery for muddy tires to pass the main road because it's under ice. So let's consider all of the clearance that we can provide for this big massive thing that we're trying to pull. I think it's multi-million dollar equipment and I don't want to destroy it or else I will be in debt for the rest of my life. <laughs> so this, this is gonna be slow guys. This will be slow. Because again, we have to be careful. And supposedly, there should be some convoy, you know, like ahead of us, that uh, we will not <clears throat> hit each other. And you know what, guys? Actually, I think it, it will be also one good thing for the game itself for them. Not only the co-op, you know, like there's like a server that we can hop in, and we can do all of the tasks that we have to do on our own main progress but we're sharing the same map you know so there's at least gonna be a chance for us to collide you know the, those kind of things but I'm not so sure it might it might be a big problem you can do solo but I think that will be a new level of experience for you to share the map with other players right it will be a good feeling to see someone as well in game in that way you have to stop because you have to wait for the other guy to pass by and so on and so forth. You know, additional obstacles, additional challenges that you have to think of that you have to keep in mind. You're not the only one using the road. So I think that will be a good suggestion as well. I'm going to give that feedback to, to the developers and hopefully that they will listen to it. Alright, so before we proceed, let's plan our thing here. So we will not go this way. <laughs> we will not go this way because this will be a disaster. And it's, it's going to be closer if we're going to go this way. But, you know, guys, this is one really hard road to pass, you know, especially going here. It's going to be hard. So we're going to use the main highway. All right. We're going to use the highway for this one. And I'm not so sure what kind of possible problem that we might encounter 
on this route, but I think it's gonna be okay. Give me a second, alright? Give me a second. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nope. I'm not so sure if we can fit here. Oh, oh, this could be a blacking thingy. Hold on, hold on. Let me check. What is our height? Okay, so seems like almost two, and there's a possibility that we might hit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask one of our who's our tallest truck. Who is the tallest truck that we have? I think Gary. No, not truck. Who is our tallest truck? Okay. Antarctic is the tallest truck I have. So I'm gonna ask him to pass by. I'm gonna go first beside Kolob. Guys, I don't use this truck. I don't use him at all. He's just there for, for display purposes because he is freaking OP. He is an OP truck. I don't use him at all. FYI, just, just to let you know. Let's see who is taller than him. Because I want to have a good idea. Okay, so he is a little bit taller. But I think, including the, the thing that we're trying to call, basing on what I understand, is something around here. So we will use the crane instead. Okay, I'm gonna place the crane, just for us to have an idea how tall would be our the equipment that we're trying to call. I'm gonna use the crane instead to be our guy. I think somewhere that, that height, if I'm not mistaken. Do you agree, Phil? Something like this, right? This height, including the, the equipment that we're trying to pull. So I'm gonna use this as an example. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna take him out and check that particular path because there's a possibility that we might hit that one. So if that is a, a problem, then we have to use the other way. I don't wanna go all the way here and then at the end, no, you cannot pass. We are just gonna waste our time. So let's double check. Thank you, Bo Tylop or Tilop, for the share. Appreciate it, brother. It will be tight. Yes, exactly. So we will check it out. You're gonna have to start over when you beat this map and use the weakest truck in the game to take it on the whole map. Actually, I agree with you, Will. And not only that, I will also in, uh, install the hardcore mode. And that's how I'm gonna do it in, in, uh, to play this game again. Probably I might use. If I'm gonna restart the game, I might use the... What's the first all-wheel drive truck that we have here? Is it the Fleet Star? I, I think that's the, the only truck that I'm gonna use uh, entirely for this game. If I'm gonna reset it. So we will... No. I think we can pass. I think the height is enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there will be no problem. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah, we're good. So this is actually my concern because I don't want to go all the way here and then you cannot pass because we will hit something. Actually, even if you look at it, even if we ra we race, I mean the, the the crane a little bit more, yeah, we still cannot pass. Yeah, this is okay. So we will re send him back. I just need to scout that first, just to make sure that we won't have no problem. So I'm gonna bring him back where he belongs, just for display. No use because you're overpowered. Sorry, but I mean, oh, destroyed right away. Sorry, I was not taking good care of you. You're one good looking truck. You are one powerful truck, but again, you are no place to my feet because you are OP. There you go. Let's go back to. Follow. Then let's continue our waypoint. Going here, all the way here, passing by the feet. And I hope <clears throat> that our fuel will be enough. Because this is one long trip that we have to take. Going to the port area, going inside. There you go. That's it. Okay, let's do this, guys. Go, let's go. Let's go. 
Welcome to Boss Man Parking Patrol. <laughs> Google Translate now, Colons. <laughs> oh my gosh. I still use the Fleet Store. I just smash it through it. Can't rebuild it. It will be tight. <laughs> oh my gosh. Huh? Okay. Sorry, I was I was not paying attention because again. Hold on guys. I'm having fun. Oh what? We'll, okay, we have to redo this. We have to redo our approach. Because we might hit that big rock. Yeah, we're okay on the back part. On the front, yeah, we're hitting the concrete, I mean the steel barrier. Uh huh. It's just started the map and we're having problems already. Okay, it's this big rock that is stopping us to move. Okay, there's another set of big rocks here. Let's avoid them. Oops, watch out. My flip. Oh fuck, no, no, no. Don't drag it. Don't drag it. Damn it. This might be a problem. This might be a problem. Please get out of the way. Oops, 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 oops. Slowly, surely, my friend. I'm concerned about the rocks here. Can you... Okay, they're... they're dra the trailer is... Mm. Okay, hold on. Because the problem is, this rock might be part of the trailer. See this one here? We will drag this out. We will drag this too as well. Then we are gonna make a left and we might hit... Oh. Let's do this. Come on. Slowly but surely. So far we're, we're still we're, we are still moving. Despite those heavy rocks. Uh, blocking or the back of the trailer. Damn. Oops. That was close. So we really need to get a lot of clearance and moving this uh, big thing or big guy or else it will be hitting a lot of things. You know, I'm gonna switch to morning for you to have a better view as well. Okay? I don't want you to... What is that? What is that? I want you to have a better view of the place. guys okay we're good this will be more sleepy sleepier because wet ice heavy everything all factor get up get up okay we can do this so far so good I'm, I, I'm, I tr should now nah, we cannot refuel can we now we can because of the concrete thing here but I have a plan already on how do we refuel I have already a plan. because that will be a disaster for us that concrete there concrete barrier it will be a problem so I have a plan already on how can we refuel 
that we have to go on the most depth side because we're making a ride. We're gonna be providing a lot of clearance. Oops, we hit a portion of it. I didn't I thought about it? You're one smart guy, Phil. I didn't thought about that. I would I should have done that. Nice 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 tip, but we're already past the the area so I have another thing in mind on how to refuel this big guy. Oops, oops. I should have considered that. I should have went right now we have to because we were almost at the oops, 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 oops. So the signage will definitely have to go. I'm sorry, signage. My bad. My bad. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Casualties do happen. When I did the out the gold video, but, um, but for you, I left a few more cases. I'll say that you're ready for me. When <laughs> that was one smart move that you have to do. Oh yeah, I remember there's a trailer store after you left Drummond Island going back to Smithville. Yeah, I remember that one. So we have to move a little forward so that we can have clearance for the big thing here to maneuver going right. Okay, so here's the same problem. No, it's not hitting it. Let's take it nice and easy, guys. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Truly. Nice and easy. Yes, do it. Do it. Be ready to go back to the main road. Okay. Hold on. Okay, you're good. You're good. Good. All right, we're good. We're good. This is one nerve-wracking move that we're doing right, doing, or that we're trying to do right now. So just bear with me, okay? This might be really a really slow movement because I don't want to have a disaster. <laughs> Get out of the 
there you go. There you go. So this is one. This is big problem. We can actually make a couple of adjustments to it and we can do that. I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna activate the furniture. We have Hold on, I need to get closer to the rocks. Check. Now I cannot make a big turn already because Oh my gosh. Because if I go this way, the problem is the tires on the back that will hit probably the steel carrier. I mean steel barrier. But if I go straight, this rock here will be massive. No speed is speeding. Oh. Because if we continue on, this might be gonna stop my belly. I'm gonna try to go on this side, check if. Oh, come on, do it. Mm -hmm. Have to push. Okay, never mind. I think we can really avoid the rocks. My worry is. There you go. Some of the rocks are red. Hard. Shout out to. Rick Pickman. Thank you so much, Rick, for the follow. Let's give him a honk. That's for Rick Pickman. Thank you so much, brother, for the follow. I appreciate it. So far, we're good, right? No rocks, nothing. All right, we're good. Still, no, nothing. All right, we're good. We're good. I'm sorry, guys, if my camera moves a lot and I know it's kind of dizzy probably on you, but I have to do it. I have to consider all of the elements, you know, the, the rocks barrier we're dragging something we are dragging something I think it's on the back part you see that it's rocking left and right oh oh no don't do it don't do it don't drop it you're good you're good you're good you're good baby you're good all right Whew, that was one tough uh, area to pass. Matthew Bambert, welcome Rick. <laughs> oh, Matthew, Rick is your friend? Thank you, thank you so much, Rick Hickman, for the follow again. I appreciate it, buddy. Okay, so this is... Ooh, you're sliding. Okay, hold on. Oops, watch out. <laughs> Okay, so far we have good clearance on the right. My problem is the left, not the right, technically. Okay, we're good. Watch the back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hold on, hold on. Will that be enough? Will that be enough for you to pass? Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to say. Yeah, I think that will be okay. Let's go. Let's just... Okay, I'm not hitting any gas. I'm just letting the gravity... I'm gonna push a little. Okay, just a little. Then we have... We have... To go... Up, 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 up. We are sliding. We are sliding. We are sliding because it's going downhill. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Move your tires to the left. There you go. Make it straight, make it straight, or we might hit the big rock. We are sliding, we are sliding. I'm, oh, damn it. This is, oh, hold on, hold on. Are we good on this side? Yes, we are good. How about on the back part? You're good? No, yeah, you're good. Yeah, we're okay. We are okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Slowly, nice and easy. I'm gonna let go of the handbrake. Come on. 
taking our time guys we're taking our time because I don't want to flip I don't want to flip okay we're good we're good we're good Whew. all right we're good <laughs> we're good we're good that was a good one that was a good one I like that I like that hey 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 that was that was a good one I like that I like that so here's another path here that we have to check if it will hit the top part if the clearance of the height will be enough so let's check it out i hope that we can pass yeah i think yeah we have scouted a while ago but just want to make sure that yep we're good we're good yeah we're good yep we're good i think so yep we're good we're okay let's go let's go let's go baby we have 108 liters left of fuel and we are still kind of long we have still have a long way to go to the port area so we will refuel outside of our garage i will send the fuel tanker all right because again i cannot maneuver this truck including that which is i forgot good suggestion a while ago by phil i should have detached uh, this rig and then just bring the truck inside the fuel station refuel and then go back again to pick it up but again here's the the, the workaround that i have in mind So this is one of the, the movement actually or call operation that I like the most in the game. Not those easy ones. This one is, you know, you have to slow down, think of uh, a better way of how can you pass a tight situation. You might hit the rock, there's a possibility that you will flip, and so on and so forth. But so far, we are doing okay. So I'm going to request our fuel tanker to go out and give us a couple of fuels for us to continue with our operation. So hold in, hold on, there you go, those are our scout, that's our fleet, stop the engine, call in our refuel tanker, where is it, the freight liner. So you know, we, we need to give him some job because he's been um, he's stuck in that place for quite a while. So let's make sure that that engine is working. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna go back now to my position. <laughs> so that's what I have in mind. That's why I didn't pass by the fuel station because I, let's give this guy, you know, some some work. You now that is his uh, specific use. So. I only rarely use him, only for refuel purposes. So he will go back to where he belongs, which is this side, which is the part of the rescue team. He is part of my rescue fleet. Together with the Lodestar International 1700. There you go. Thank you. Now let's go back to Kolob to continue on with his operation. You know what? Kolob, thank you. Thank you for your support. It's time for you to let go. Go back to the sleeping area and let's ask your big brother to take over here. Alright? Hey, move. Thank you, thank you, Kala. That was a great movement. I did have fun. Your brother wants to have a part of it. So we will take you back to your parking slot. Brother, it's your time.
spot on. Alright, let's go. Big brother helping his younger brother to do the job. <laughs> so watch out. Very good. This is the hard thing because you're making turns that is kind of tight and then the road is kind of narrow. My my problem is it might flip. I hope it, it, it won't. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. We have to make a right right away. Sorry guys, I know that it's kind of decent to move the camera from time to time, but we have to check those tight uh, areas that we are passing by just to make sure that we are not hitting anything at all. Big brother here is making the final delivery. I did move a big machinery before. It's similar to this. Actually, I we destroyed. It's not me who drive, by the way. I'm just a project man. So we destroyed a portion of the freeway. We destroyed one house, but uh, technically we paid and we we rebuilt it as well. Are we going to make right? Because this is a one big machinery that we have to move. It's actually going to be used for a tobacco plant. So it's dipped down, isolated area as well. So it was a good project that I managed. It was a good experience on my end as well. But it's it was freaking uh, dangerous and crazy to do because it's 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 a multi. -mil I think if I'm not mistaken, almost. Was it 400 million? The, the 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 value the value of that equipment 400 million pesos, FYI, pesos. I'm not talking about dollars, right? I think that was the value of the the cargo that we're trying to move. And we we have to hire private uh, mercenaries. Um, we have to ask permission from the mayors. We need to ask uh, assistance from the police because we are passing by uh, an area that is. Uh, um, captured by a rebel team and so on and so forth. it was it was really a long um, planning that we have to do but we did it successfully okay so this is this will be a tricky part we have to be on the most right I don't care about the rocks anymore because we have big brother call up here it's more about passing this bridge if the clearance that we have will be So 
Sorry guys, the camera is going local because of the bridge. I feel we're good. 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 Okay. good driving. Thanks, thank, thank you so much, Rick. How are you? Welcome, Rick. Thank you, thank you so much. Rick Hickman, in the house, brothers. Let's give him a honk again. There you go. So we are almost near the port area. And this is one such great delivery that we did. It was, it was tough. Actually, guys, I can do it more easier. I can do it more faster, but I'm trying to be more realistic. I'm putting a little role play to it. That's because I want to really take my time in Alaska because this is the last place. So, <laughs> so please bear with my craziness here, being me, local as well. But I hope you love what I'm trying to do here. It's slippery. Okay. We don't want to destroy electric post here. And also the very good, very good. Yep, okay, very good. Cool. What's your favorite truck? I like the ASO, but it's slow. ASO 6, you mean to say. Am I correct, Matt? Matthew Bamber? Um, my favorite truck of all of the trucks here, nothing else, but it's going to be ASO 7. He is my favorite truck. You can attach a crane, a loading crane, together with a, a sideboard or a flatbed, but still you can attach a trailer on its back. Not to mention the 350 liters, all-wheel drive, differential lock, what else? And he flips very little so that is the best thing about as of seven the only problem that i have with him he is freaking low it seems like every time he wants his nose sticking on everything so that is the only problem that i have with him. so give me a second i'm just gonna sell this trailer because it's kind of sore to my eyes <laughs> and then we will check what other tasks that we have to do in mountain river okay i think we have we, we have another mission here if i'm not mistaken we have another mission here to do hold on guys there we go. Can we? I can sell this guy, right? I have to attach it. Uh -huh. Too far away. Okay, not bad. I guess. Oops, oops. Pull it. There you go. Attach a trailer so that you can sell it. This one. There we go. Now, switch off the engine. Do we have a new task here? Because I know that there's still one. This one got this here. So, new drilling site to build. So, we have to pick up the drilling equipment from here and deliver it to the drilling site. But it's still locked. It is still locked. So, we cannot do it. So, the rest of the test that we have is going to White Valley already. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm kind of sad because we're done already with with Mountain River. So, we are, we are now moving to... Um, I'm going to bring him back home. Put him back to where he belongs. So we are going to do the scouting mission now in Mountain River so that we will have no more things left in Mountain River. So we have we have to get three upgrades and two scouting missions, which is Tatarine is already there waiting for command. And that is for Mountain River. Wow, that is, that is a quick thing to finish Mountain River. We just started today in the, for how long? Four hours? Well, technically it might be five hours just to complete Mountain River. Wow, that is that is... That is sad. That is sad. I was I was hoping that it will be much longer to complete Mountain River, but in, what we what else we can do? That's the only thing as of the moment what we can get. But hopefully that on the next map, which is White Valley, we will have more difficulties. Just destroy the fence, motherfucker! You destroyed the fence. There you. <laughs> All right. So let's go to Tatarin. Let's go to Tatarin, uh, Mountain River. Where are you at? There you go. So it's a it's the job for Tatarin now. It's my time to play ball. So I will see you tomorrow. Have a good re good rest of the day and stay safe, brother. Thank you, Phil. Thank you so much for sticking by. I appreciate you staying here. I have fun talking to you. Have a great day. Enjoy the game, and I'll see you tomorrow again. Gotta go, mate. 
get to search my boyfriend bed. Have fun and catch it tomorrow. Thank you, Matthew. Remember, as both thank you, appreciate it. Especially bringing your friend, um, Rick Hickman. I'll see you again tomorrow. So again, we will do a couple of things here. So first, we have to pick up an upgrade. One upgrade here. One upgrade here. And where's the other one? Right there. So it's just an easy piece to get those upgrades. Um, where is the, the contest? Contest will be here. And where's the other one? There you go. So before we go to this contest, we will pick up this upgrade. And then this upgrade. You know what? Let's pick up all the upgrades first. What is this? To the top. Yeah. So crates? What do you have to find crates? I'm Nick Green. I'm with the Coast Coast Guard. People get lost all too often around here, so we leave emergency supply crates dotted around the landscape. Yesterday's storm may dislodge them. Can you take a look? All right, cool. So we will pick up this first. Just a couple of uh, upgrades that we have to do, and we are done in Mountain River. We are done in Mountain River. That was quick. We did just five hours probably. That's how quick or fast we managed to complete this area majority of the operation that we did here are just basically highway stuff there's no hard terrain that we have to go on snow heavy deep snow going up the mountain nothing like that this is one easy map to navigate or go so like this one we are picking an upgrade here look at that Easy to go to this upgrade, no problem at all. Chevrolet Kodiak. Where's the other one? The other one will be there, so let's proceed here instead. Then take this route here, and I think there is a road that we can use here to pass by and pick up this upgrade. And after that, we will pick up the last one, which is there. Yep. Mm, we will see. Where do we have to go? We have to reverse. And FYI, we have 200 liters left. I think that will be enough to complete the mission, but we will drop by the fuel station if we have a chance. So, Tatarin, just Tatarin is for me the OPS scout vehicle as well in this game. He is freaking good. I mean, I don't have any memory of him flipping over or rolling on his side um, I have no memory of him having a hard time going to a certain situation he is really like <laughs> the best scout for, for this game um, well good thing is that you cannot attach anything on him so I mean what's good about it you cannot use him for any hauling operation because if you can use him for hauling operation then the game is just easy to complete um, what else you cannot attach any cargo on him so yeah I think it's good that they make it like that so that these cannot use him for any hauling operation because again it will be just an easy thing for him to do all right so we are picking up this uh, upgrade and then we are moving on to the next area which is White Valley White Valley do have a garage so that will not be a problem for us to do okay so I'm actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna park all of my vehicles in the airstrip so there's an airstrip in White Valley so I will do that I will park all of my vehicles there okay there we go. Oh, 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 oh. watch out watch out nice So there's the upgrade. Okay, go up. We can actually go here. We can just destroy this two small trees here. Watch out, watch out. Alright. See that? No tree can stop him. But he cannot knock out the tree. So. <laughs> So we have to do something here. Okay, it's a trick. You can use the winch on your back and tow it on something so that 
you can face like that. See what I'm doing here? Because like his his uh, turning radius is not really good. So you are using the winch at the same time so that you can turn on tight squat. That is one trick that I found out about him if you want to use him. Yep, there we go. What is this? Great liner, Royal BM, very long one. Cool. Alright. Now, what else do we have to do? We have to reverse. Let go of the winch. There you go. <clears throat> then we have to do... Now, how do we go to that place? Is there any roads here that we can take? Nope. They will... I think we cannot pass this one. I think it will be better if we go here. Yep, that way. Yep. We can pass here. Go here. Straight here. And voila. There's the last upgrade, and now for this, we will start doing the quest. Wow! Wow! Seems like this is for everything. Wow! This is a lot. Wow! This is a good find. This is a good find. Seems like all of the trucks will be beneficial for this one. Wow! This is a good one. Okay, what else? Now what? Is there any more upgrades? Let's double check. No more upgrades. So now we have to do the contest. Tap the box. Nope. Where's the other one? This one. We will do this. Where can I pick this up? Where is the contest? Right here. I don't know. It's right here. Okay. So we have to go here and then go here. Go up, up. Go here. Go here. Go here. Here. So cancel this. Go oh. up. Oh. Yeah, we have enough fuel. Don't be happy. This is gonna be easy for him. He is really slow, guys, and his turning rage is not really good. But I mean, whatever you ask him to do, he can do it. He will do it with no problem. problem with him which is I think he is an amphibious truck or vehicle um, if you take him to kind of a little deeper um, river or lake or whatever you call it he gets damage his engine gets damaged supposedly in reality he should not because he is an amphibious truck as far as I know the way to look of this truck he should be an amphibious truck right so here we go we are doing this so let's just reposition this vehicle Facing that way. I like the looks of the, of the, of the lights. It's really amazing uh, how the lights look like. In the range it captures the dark part of the other area. It's really good. So here we go. Okay. 
Ah, this is the part where, where it's, uh, you have... I cannot change the view. It's just gonna be like that. So this is a uh, part of the of the task or the contest. It's a first person view task and you cannot change it. So you have to do it like that. Okay, one. It's gonna be a bumpy ride guys, so just bear with me. It will be a bumpy ride, like I told you. It will be a bumpy ride. Good thing I used him. Because if we will use different trucks in this place like the Yar or the Hummer. It's gonna be a big problem for them to navigate in this terrain. Okay, we have damaged tires already. So you, as you can see, it's already red. But we will fix that later. Okay, good. We are up into the mess. We're trying to get away from here. Seems like it's harder probably to navigate ourselves in the forest. So far, we're okay. Voila! Gold! Gold baby gold! There you go. Let's fix the tires. For oh, it's the suspension. Yeah, we can fix it. Yeah, all good now. Now, there's one more thing. This one here. What is there with fuel? One thirty. Yeah, I think it will be enough. So we have to go here. And what is? Where do we have to go? Huh? Go to the target. Are you for real? Just this one? I mean, it's easy. <laughs> but okay, I'm gonna do it. I mean, seriously? That is one easy task to do. Guys, how are you loving the graphics of this game? Because for me, I am freaking made, been in love with how the graphics looks like. I mean, yeah, there's a couple of, probably still not perfect, but overall, the graphics of this game is really amazing. For a driving game, what I need to say, for a driving game, it is, I mean, the physics of the water, the physics of the mud, the physics of the snow, it's, wow, it's, it's really good. I mean, the lighting as well from the headlight, look at it really is is something and that's why I hope that they can incorporate here like AI interaction with another person in game because as of the moment there's only one living creature in two to be exact the driver and there's a wolf that I saw in in Drummond Island that's the only two living creatures I saw in this place and I hope that the developers can be able to add additional AI thing inside like another person not only another person but you know there's a community a couple of additional creatures or animals in the game <clears throat> here we go we are doing the last task which is again easy easy for this vehicle right. I was, was kind of I'm not happy with, with how easy this place is. This is not... This is not hard. Seriously guys, this is... I'm not so sure. <laughs> Probably just for me, but I mean... Timer was really something. Look at that, look at that. This is the task. See? Oh! There's a lot more. Okay, my bad, my bad, my bad. I didn't know. I thought that's it. Okay, my bad. I didn't know that. They never told me that there will be stages. What else? Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Stage complete. Where's the other one? Huh? Go back. Okay. 
have to go back. But let's do it reverse. Let's do it in style. Okay, that would be a problem. If it's gonna be a different scout that we use in this one, it will be one freaking hard thing for him to go back and forth. With this terrain, with this condition, with all of those loose logs, trees, mud, water, uphill, it's gonna be hard for another scout to do this. But good thing again, Tadarin was here, and again, we got the gold again. Voila! Alright, let's, let's double check just to make sure that we don't have anything else left here. In terms of upgrades, nothing. Any untouched area? Mm, not I. I don't think so. Yeah, there's a part here that we haven't crossed. Let me check. Nothing. White Valley. White Valley. Blackbird. White Valley. P12 is a great truck in the first match. Yes, I agree, Will. I agree. I agree as well. P12 is something we... Actually, I think P12 is the only OP truck for American side. I mean, for, for Russian side, everything is OP. But I think for American, P12 is the only one that is really OP for me. No, it's not pass on. Yes, I did. Uh, I did uh, pass by uh, in Batman City. But I'm not yet going to be playing that. Actually, there's something here. I think this is going... Okay, hold on. Let's check the, the achievements here. So, in Alaska... We are in Mountain River, right? Yes, Mountain River. Okay, Mountain River. All good. Mountain River. Yes, everything's good. How about the task? Task, Mountain River. We're double-checking. Yep, nothing left for Mountain River. There's a lot in Pedro Bay. Contest, yep. Everything's good. So we are heading on to White Valley. So for that one, I have to recall all of our vehicles. We have to recall because we have to set up uh, which is just in White Valley again. So guys, um, it's already four and a half hours on the stream. Guys, please. Please don't go. I will check first. Please guys, um, I have something in mind. I'm, I want to show you something. Okay, hold on. Give me a second. I think this one is going to be great. Okay. Okay. Uh, we. Okay, I have a friend here, actually. How do I do this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me a second. I think it's in Facebook. Give me a second, guys. I, I want to share something to you. This is really good. I think this one here. Publishing tools if I'm not mistaken. There you go. Is it? Um, no. Uh, where is it? A creator studio. There you go. Creator studio. Is this the one? No. Where is it? I'm looking for something. Bear with me. This one. Where is it? Where is what the F? I, I'm looking for something here and it's not allowing me. Um how do I do this? Okay, this one. Um, how do I do this? Where is it? Okay, this one. Um, the one that I could, you know, pass my... 
because I want to pass you guys to another streamer, which is Commander Oh Gosh. I know that you can just go there with no problem, but I want to do it that way. Like for example, if Will Smitherman, the one Smitty Gaming is active, can call. Oh my gosh, how can I do that? I don't see it here, the options that I have. Where is it? It's not, damn it. Go to Creator Studio. Okay, go to Creator Studio. All right, I'm here. I'm gonna show you my display capture. Okay, this one. And then the streamer dashboard. Streamer, streamer dashboard. Where is it? Where's the streamer dashboard? It's not here. Live dashboard, this one. Oh, this one. Okay, okay. Okay, there's some sensitive information here. Okay, I got it now. And then, after that, Will, what do I have to do? They'll be on the top left. Top left. Top left. Okay, top left. Top left. Mm. Doesn't show, actually. Like. Which part of, it, of, of this that I have to check out? Okay, hold on for a second, guys. Okay, I'm trying to fix this. Yep, there should be a way to send viewers. Okay, gotcha. Um, Okay, I see it now. There you go. And then how can I do this? No, it's not as well. From the dashboard, not OBS. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Showing. Because I want to do this guy. What is this? Nope. Um, you gotta add streamers down at the bottom right I believe okay commander there you go oh gosh chaining and then can I chaining is this a chaining you mean to say I think also in OBS there's a way for me to do that I'm not so sure how. What is it? I normally stream so late now I don't get a chance to use this feature. But actually I did it before. I forgot how to. I did it before. I forgot where. Action? Where's that? No. It's not working. How do I do that? I normally stream so late. Um. I'm looking, hold on guys, give me a second, alright? Ah. <laughs>
Okay, here we go. And then I can clips, polls, daily broadcast, survey connection. Where is it? I know that there's a way for me to do that. All right, guys. Actually, I ca I can't I can't uh, find it. I don't know how to do that. But may I ask a, a small favor from everyone? Click on the top of the top left. See if you can click and tell me if it gives you option to send viewers to over. Okay, hold on. So before I do that, actually, guys, before I, if I'm gonna do that, then there's a possibility that I will end the stream. But if it doesn't work, please, guys, check this. Uh, uh, this one uh, I already pinned it on the comment, but I will I will still try to to pass it to him. Okay, um, you if I click on top left, see top left, top left. Okay, I'm on the top left already. If you click and stream, it gives you an option to send to viewers over. I'm not so sure, but I will click it. But just in case it will not work, please guys check out Commander. Oh gosh, I'm gonna try to do this. Okay, no, 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 no. Yes, I can, I can, I can, I can. All right, all right, there you go. Um, okay, there you go, guys. So I'm going to send you to Commander Ogosh. Thank you so much, everyone, for sticking by. I apologize. Have a great day. I wish you everything the best. I'll see you again tomorrow. Stay safe. God bless. Am I still streaming? Am I still here? I'm still here.